What's up with you, everybody? You already know what to do. Make sure that you like, subscribe. <laughs> That's what time it is. Yeah, whatever. We on that kind of time today. Make sure you hey, like, subscribe. Yeah, all that. Subscribe, like, comment, share, know, all that good girl, stuff. Tell your girl to bring the shit from the kitchen so you ain't got to get up and miss nothing. Send uh, that. If you ain't got no girl, uh, Bring, bring the kitchen a little closer. Get all your shit right now, man. You got five minutes. Get all your shit. Come on. Get your Come shit. Up. Let go. Yeah. Tried to reach out to some of the homies and name reached back, so now I'm like, fuck it. Now I done came up, I'm on a whole nother level, don't turn it to something it wasn't. I want it all, so I ain't leaving no paper, some people gon' call me a glutton. I R.I.P. Dolph, middle finger to the haters, now back to this beat cause I'm bustin'. Yeah, back in the streets I was running it all and living my life like I love it. I want some money, and ain't a thing in my life that I'm willing to put right above it. Rainy or sunny, if I'ma leave out the house and that 40 on me, I'ma tuck it. I've been too hungry, ain't about to take nothing from me, paranoid so I'm clutching. yeah. Love school. Yeah. Gotta watch the people you got around you. As soon as you walk so away, they got you. So they gossip and mad at my bag up. Got my tag up, so I'm spinning, huh? Why y'all was wishing me bad luck? Had to back up, see the vision, huh? Others was showing me mad love. Time to act up, we was with it, huh? Now they just mad at my bag up. Got my tag up, so I'm winning, huh? Was in the trap, had to bag up. Get my stack up, see a milli, huh? Go to the bank, get my packs up. Fill a back up, then I'm dishing, huh? Couldn't be with all the actors. Not a factor to be winning, huh? Yeah. They gossip and mad at my bag up. Got my tag up, so I'm spinning, yeah. I'm working yeah. on getting my bag up. Trying to stack up. See a milli, huh? Loving the beam and the back up. I want seven sixes like I'm Philly, huh? Pink, pink, the bundle with the black guts. Trying to act up as I mash up through the city. I got my stacks up, so it's litty. Anyone act up, get a fit. I, I, I just be racked up, see me drippy. Moving the pack, sending out the city. Don't trust the soul, I gotta keep it with me. I hate this bitch out of shit, it's getting icky. But now I got back up, kinda stack up as I'm thinking, smoking on the piffy. Wifey 100, gotta keep it with me. Cause I know some bitches just out here to get me. It's a long road, the road to riches. Stories get old and cold and vicious. Gotta be bold the cold division got up is all that they know remember living this life it get cold december had to reship and remold my temper now i'll be stepping in all my splendor you take a shot then i'm gonna they got something mad at my bag up got my tag up so i'm spinning huh why y'all was wishing me bad luck had to back up see the vision huh others was showing me mad love time to act up we was with it huh now they just mad at my bag up got my tag up so i'm winning huh was in the trap had the bag up get my stack up see a million huh Go Yeah. I see a Yeah. I see them clocking, they just trying to watch how I make it One of a kind, so it ain't no mistaken Music on slapping, this shit ain't outdated Said fuck all the rules, if you make it, I'll break it Full steam ahead, I ain't down with no pacing Whipping the booth and come out with that Cajun Visuals, you see it clear like it's LASIK If shit don't work out, then it's back to the base See them clocking, they just trying to watch how I make it One of a kind, so it ain't no mistaken Music on slapping, this shit ain't outdated Said fuck all the rules, if you make it, I'll break it Full steam ahead, I ain't down with no pacing Whipping the booth and come out with that Cajun Visuals, you see it clear like it's LASIK If shit don't work out, then it's back to the base. Ain't one fuck with me when I was down at the bottom So don't come around and be asking no favors Not trying to link and I don't wanna tap it So don't have no hopes of you seeing me later Laughing my way as I go to the bank With a Gucci bag full just to drop off this paper Cruising with all the movers and shakers You know if I'm about to do it, it's major Just got the navy blue clock with a laser Hop in my Bentley and block out the haters Music be coming off top, ain't no paper Smoking some gas, it look just like the Lakers I do like Betty and just get my kick up Trying to do 200k on the wake up Work every day and I won't take no pay cut You can keep clocking, I swear it don't phase I'm clocking, they just trying to watch how I make it One of a kind, so it ain't no mistaking Music on slapping, this shit ain't outdated Said fuck all the rules, if you make it, I'll break it Full steam ahead, I ain't down with no pacing Whipping the booth and come out with that Cajun Visuals, you see it clear like it's LASIK If shit don't work out, then it's back to the base See I'm clocking, they just trying to watch how I make it One of a kind, so it ain't no mistaking Music on slapping, this shit ain't outdated Said fuck all the rules, if you make it, I'll break it Full steam ahead, I ain't down with no pacing Whipping the booth and come out with that Cajun Visuals, you see it clear like it's LASIK If shit don't work out, then it's back to the basics
and welcome back to another one green table family what's up man what's up what's up with the chat what's up with everybody up in this thing that hair jamming smoking that good old good old seeing a lot of good reviews on the on the sea germination oh yeah yeah they popping uh, everything yeah man <laughs> We went off the ice cream cake for the last couple uh last couple nights. Yeah, <laughs> yo, that ice cream deadly, yo. That shit strong as shit, bro. That shit strong. <laughs> if I can, if I could, like, like imagine looking to the right and you see a girl like, like trying to like stay up. That shit was hella fun. Like she we was watching the show. And she was like. I'm like, damn, you over there fucking like, uh, uh. Like, that, that shit, shit narcotic. Oh, bud. That shit that shit me. is narcotic. And I don't care how many days you take it. That is just potent. And the longer you take it, the oh, worse it gets. Good sleep, too. Because what I day did sleep. you chop it at? Uh, I think I took everything to 63. Okay. Took everything to 63. It could have went longer though. It could have went I longer. I think it's all too. But I still just, be having white pistols. When I chopped it down. It didn't look purple. Oh, didn't when it get was the... done, It's all purple. Yeah. I'm like, those, this shit crazy. I don't those, get it. Those those leaves purple out, the buds start to get some purple in it. It. Take it just one after week. it was dry though. Oh, after it was dry, the purple started coming. Yes. This shit had purple hues in it. I'm like, I ain't got time for this. I'm 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 going. I'm out of here. Then the motherfucking like in the bag, look at the bag. I'm like, what's this? Look at the tag. I see see. I'm like. That's wild. That's <laughs> that big producer, wild. too. She is a big producer. Big producer, ghetto cake. That's what that is, man. Beast Coast ice cream cake cut crossed with the shorty year, man. Uh, I can't now, now that cross, cross got to be worse. That that cross got to be just deadly. If you if you if you want the crew to shut the hell up while y'all chilling, just like that, bro. I'm talking about like. Silence in the room. It's a yeah. good smoke too. It's a good smoke. It's like smooth. The taste is good, and it was just like it's time to go to sleep. Yeah. yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. I've had other ice cream cakes. The one I got for some reason is completely different than all the other ice cream cakes that I've seen and had. They're See, all I've seen all the big ass chunky bud ones, the Me ones too. that look crazy. This one wasn't like that, but it was a good yield, and it was like chunky, but they wasn't like big or knotted up. Ice cream mm-hmm. cake like that, and it was just uh, mind you, I was up like one o'clock, but that don't matter. Usually, I'd be up just up off other shit. I just be up, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Just there ain't no end really. I gotta like take an edible or something to finally feel that shit. I hit that shit, came back in there. I'm out here. That's a sign that it's a good strain for things like edibles and stuff too, though. So if you're looking to yes. really sit somebody down off some edibles, you got to know what strains to go to. If you smoke a strain and it's just really mellow. That's not something you want to extract or turn into something else. Uh, granted, all oh. extracts are probably going to be potent, but if you smoke it, yeah, if you smoke it and it's deadly potent, then any extract that comes from it is just going to be ridiculous. That shit is strong. I was surprised. I ain't gonna lie. I remember you telling me that, but I was like, eh, all right, whatever. But that shit, that shit, that shit is strong. A meal. <laughs> that shit is strong. It's like a nice strong too. It just. It is because it, it it just fades oh. you into your sleep, yeah. like you, yeah. yeah. Like some yeah. strains, like Girl Scout cookie. I'm I'm talking two three hits in. You already know you went too far. You know you high. This one, I was like, I went back in the house. I'm chilling, but I'm talking about 15, 20 minutes later, I'm like, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's a that's a good old nighttime one right there. What what else caught your attention this week? Any other strains? Um. Uh, Eastside OG, a lot Ooh, of people, yes, a lot of people called back and was like, because I, I had seeds in it, not from a Hermia or nothing. It was some, basically, I had some, uh, some, some, some unlawful pollen, and I hit the, I hit like, like you know, paintbrush a couple of buds. Mm-hmm. I just paintbrush some shit, and I was looking close, and it was clumped up. So that tells me it was too much moisture. Moisture pollen non viable somehow. Wow. It's still seeded some, you know. What I mean, some still. So you're saying some. somehow the the pollen got some kind of moisture to it, some kind of water or something, maybe, or, yeah, or was it the, the freezer? It was in the freezer, and uh, 
just some moisture got into it, I guess. So I didn't think it would, I didn't think it worked because, you know, moisture and pollen don't really mix. So mm-hmm. I guess it dried out somehow and became viable a little later and got that plant. Cause you had some seeds in yours too, a little bit, right? Yeah. They germinated already. Yeah. Mine did too. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's good. It's a good cross. Like I meant Hell to yeah. do that cross, but it's just, I didn't think it went through or whatever. And then I just. Were you going to do the cross just to test it? I was I was doing I was crossing four plants. I was crossing the ice cream cake, the East Side OG, apples and bananas, and Mac. Okay. So I had seeds. I got some seeds from that. Called that Mac Silly. But uh Ooh. so I got some uh I got some seeds in that. That's germinated right now. It's been it's been past germination, really. I don't even know if uh I should use them same plants when I'm using them. But um yeah, man, the East Side OG, it's like it's a very different back. OG. She called back and said, I want some more East Side OG. I'll take the seeds out. I'm like, that's when you know you got a good strain. Yeah. Man, like, fuck them seeds. I'll put the seeds to the side for you. I got you, but let me get some more of that. Yeah. Like, it's, okay. It's different than the average OG that most people are probably going to be looking for. Like, this. of course it wouldn't show. Like, <laughs> that's dope, got- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you put your hand to it and it just disappear. Yeah. Go right into the screen. So but yeah, uh, uh, the east side. That's the east side. Yeah. Yeah, that shit is. It reminds me a lot of Tahoe for some reason. I didn't like Tahoe's smell. I like. No, it doesn't. It doesn't smell like Tahoe. Yeah. No, but the taste is sim. If I had to name another OG that it was similar to, I'll say that. If I had to choose any other OG, it was similar to Tahoe would be the closest. Okay. Compared to like SFV or maybe a ghost, you know, those ones is super smell like they've been sitting in your gas tank. Like they're they're hella different. <clears throat> it don't it don't really got no lemon to it, no lime, like no no None sass. It didn't that for an OG, it just didn't come with any of that. And there's some OGs that just won't come with any of that. Yeah, I, I think those the OGs people don't pay attention to though. A lot of them they don't because they want them special traits, them certain traits that they're used to, but they kind of like don't think about the other ones that's that really hit and got something else going for it. But I'm glad I'm glad I got that cut, man. That cut is like a cup winner. It won a lot of awards, so I see why. Yeah, it won Hella a good of- look on it too. That that was the first thing I noticed was the the appeal. Normally OGs is ugly. They just oh, they good. just don't look good. This one look good. Like you would look at them and be like, this some OG. And that's only because so much trash OG went out over the years that when you think OG, you're not thinking no pretty ass bud you're gonna be looking at. Mm-hmm. You're thinking of something hairy, <laughs> smell good, taste good, fire, put you in the dirt, but it ain't something you want to show on Instagram or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that shit don't it don't yield that much either. Um, it yields like an OG, kind of mm-hmm. like lanky stringy you know mm-hmm. what I mean? got that kind of trait to it but uh man that grandmaster level topping technique uh, ended all of the strains not being big yielding for me they told me girl scout cookie wasn't big yielding i never got a difference in yield versus anything else only doing it that way because whatever yeah. tops girl scout cookies start with it's not really going to multiply those tops those tops are just going to stretch from that point on so mm-hmm. goal with low yielding strains that are leggy is to get as many tops on them as that's possible it. before yeah. they go into flower. Yes, yeah. because that's what I did with that one. I made it bush out, but even with mm-hmm. the bush out, I still it's still not the big yielder. Like no. they're not they're not that heavy. They're dense, but they're not. I wouldn't say they're heavy like that. I see what you mean. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but it works, man. That shit is good. That shit is good. And you got to remember, compared to what you've been running lately. That strains like that just ain't gonna compare to the vigor of some of the other stuff that's available now. I'm seeing something different in in the market, or maybe it's just my market, but uh, they're tired of purple strains. They're getting tired of it. Yeah, they, they just want to try something different at this point. They hit me like, man, I want that lime green, man. That lime green like you had last year, man. You got some more of that. I'm like, that was last year, but uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Run, run that back, yeah. <laughs> then I'm trying to find everything out, like trying to acquire different cuts and shit, and everything is switched to color now. Everything. So now I got to go fight to make something green again. You know what I mean? Make it- they've, they've been breeding based off of color. Like, it's just color. like, yo, this strain right here is fire, but it don't turn purple. So let's that's, that's cross a it with something point. purple. Oh, it blacks out. It blacks out at the end. It's so beautiful and stuff. It's like, that's cool and all. But what about that smoke? 
Because I think I, we would have learned what purple punch. Yeah, but that nah 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 because all purples ain't bad. But no, I'm just saying, purple, but it also doesn't mean that it's that good. Punch. Yeah, it just don't have that punch to it. Yeah, it just doesn't mean that it's good, also. Like it's like know. we it's like it's like it's like the people start breeding and really said, fuck all the OGs in the market. Let's target all the newbies. And yep. to target all the newbies, it has to be beautiful. Yes. It has to look good. They because they, they might be their first time smoking. Uh, I don't want to smoke that stuff. Looks smashed up and all green. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't want that. Well, how about this? Oh, now that's beautiful. You know what I mean? I could see it. Yeah, let's Make do you that. Not even want to break the bud. Yeah, and it's crazy. Yeah, they they almost turn buds into like true art. Like it, it has to be. Nice. It has to. It has to be picture perfect. Like when you when you're taking pictures of this online, then you want. I even seen it when Burner did his last uh, mania. When he was going around, he had a camera when he was looking at the at the units from the guy who was doing the greenhouse. Yeah. But when he showed it to us, he pulled his phone out. He said, because this is more the view that people are used to. They used and to I'm like, Instagram view. And I'm like, they breed based off of that Instagram view. Off the phone view. Yeah, they're, 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 they're breeding based off of what is this going to look like when the camera hits it? Not what is it going to be like when they smoke it? <laughs> What's it going to look like when the camera hits it? That's it. It's all selling sales and marketing. And it's like, man, I got to start. I got to go backwards. Just got to go backwards. Yeah, because you uh, eventually people are going to get tired of it and want something new. They'll get tired of gelato crosses eventually until something new comes. Gelato is going to be around until something new comes. There's going to have to be a whole new terp change. Like there's going to have to be a complete shift in the terps that people are looking for. Because right now, as long as it got gelato terps, it wins. I know nobody probably seen cookies coming. So I'm not gonna say I don't see something new coming, but I don't. Not no time soon. I think, I think they got to it so quick after gelato and cookies hit, strawberry, cherry, things just start coming out like boom, boom, bam, and the shit has already always already been there. It's just the market opened up to be acceptable to all these different flavors. Now, now it's like okay, yes. let me let me open up my <clears throat> palate a little bit. You know what I mean? Then you got peach now. Now you got uh, you know, the coffee coffee strains and yeah it's like a lot of different shit but it's already out there it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to come with a new a new profile man. you're just gonna have to figure out your area because eventually areas are gonna change little by little there's some areas that are gonna stick to wanting that turf right there there's some areas that's gonna be like i had enough of it yeah yeah so, so you just gotta know i know the shift in my area was crazy i didn't think nobody would ever smoke anything that had any kind of purple in it I never saw that coming. Never. Because yeah. anything we got over the years that had any kind of purple in it was pretty, and that's where it ended. Yeah. That was it. The- I think I think I think the colors become like a rating system to where how much color is, is going to sell more. Mm-hmm. Whereas you look at green weed, you can't see nothing spectacular in it. You can mm-hmm. just see it's weed. So you Definitely. really have to now, like, you really got to smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yes. really have to smoke it and take and really, like, have faith that it's that. Yeah. you just praying. Yeah, because a pack come in, is green. You're like, man, I got I to convince you, people this I is good. convince somebody. Now, if you get that purple and frosty, you be like, man, this shit going to sell itself. It sell itself. All I got to do is put one video up and it's gone. One picture. Send one picture out and it's, it's gone. Hell. There's people that'll literally hit you like, yo, uh, what you got that's purple. And you're like, what the fuck does that matter? That doesn't even mean it's good. Makes you want to get some cheap purple punch packs for people. Like, oh, well, as long as it's purple, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen purple punch in years, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's still right. grown like a motherfucker. Not, no, but nobody out here is selling that shit. Not good. Good. Yeah. They breeded with it and did away with it afterwards. They just wanted to pass on that trait of the looks because it is super fucking frosty. It's beautiful. That, that is one thing about it. I don't even know how it could be so so weak of a smoke when it looks like all that. those like, trichomes. So you got huh? all those trichomes and they ain't adding and up to nothing. To nothing? Make frost is what they say, man. And it's like now I'm, I'm looking at trees now like, yeah, that's cool. You said all this stuff about how it look. Your whole description is how it look. And it's always candy gas, candy gas. That's what they're rolling with, is candy gas. But it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. They just candy they gas. just call it they just is call it, it white runts now. Is it potent? Is it hitting? You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? 
They still sell it Purple Punch. They just changed the name of it. Now it's ice cream cake and runts, and it, yeah. it's whatever the hottest new shit is. Yeah, whatever the hottest new shit is, that's exactly what they're calling it. See, this is what I'm not going to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I like some of the older strains, but it's some of them that we could just do without. <sighs> no, what no, is no. wrong with this camera? Nothing. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. That's number five. E, no. It's like breeding with G13 or something. It's just certain strains we could just do it out. I picked up some Super Lemon Smack from Purple City Genetics. Sativa Indica, Sativa Dominant, Sativa Dominant um, Hybrid. And I picked up some Zev, some SR71 Purple Kush. Times Gushments. I picked up some of that. Now I'm so excited for that because it's a pure indica. That shit is just straight indica. Put you on your ass. I had purple kush before. If anybody had purple kush before, that shit grew up on it on your ass. I'm talking about it'll lay you on your back. Really, that yeah. shit will put you down. I know in Canada that's all they had for a long time. Yeah, that's that shit, man. And I'm we used to get it. all of it. And I never liked it. I don't know if you had it. Oh, we had it. <clears throat> that shit was too strong for me. The purple kush? Purple kush too strong for me, man. That shit was just like you hit. Whew, I couldn't tell. See, I couldn't when purple kush was when purple kush was really like making a heavy name for itself, we had sour diesel. And nothing was beating that at the time. I don't even know if it was potency. I don't even think they cared back then. I don't think they care right now about potency. They're no, going to roll an eighth in the backwood regardless. They're going to put a whole eighth in the backwood no matter what. I don't think it's ever been about potency. Oh. Probably since like the 80s or 90s. That shit is crazy, bud. That's some rich That's some rich shit. Especially what? at the club. I went to the club today and I seen uh, I was grabbing those clones. And then I seen some people in there just pulling out hundreds. Just buying eight, seventy dollars, seventy dollars, seven. I'm like, that's that's crazy. Bro. That's crazy. You could have got a zip down the street, be like, <laughs> yeah. crazy, you got three A's for the price of a zip, and people and they got the same them. shit down the street. People want certain type of shit, certain type yeah. of shit from a certain type of country. It was Canatique, you know what I mean? Canatique got a big name in the clubs and shit, so. They got all the lemon cherry gelatos. They got a demon time. That shit looked like everything else. Frosty purple. Everything looked the fucking same, bro. Yo, Frosty, all I'm wondering is what are people smoking that they can put a 3.5 in a backwood and just smoke it and be okay? I will, I will not be okay if I smoke a 3.5 and one blunt. I'm not going to be okay afterward. Matter of fact, the day is over. I'm not finishing it today. That is a fact. They not alone. Pretty. Yeah, pretty not alone. Good. They're smoking it pretty. I don't think they inhaling no more. I think they smoking like Soldier Boy. Like cigars. Yeah, I think they smoking like Soldier Boy. Soldier, I ain't never seen Soldier Boy inhale his weed ever. He, <laughs> yo, I seen a whole interview with him go through two blunts and took like three hits. I, <laughs> yeah. nah, I, I don't think they inhaling no more. Hitting them, hitting it. Yeah, they, they they just they, <laughs> ain't no ain't no way you in you're not smoking a three point five a shorty year in the backwood. It's not happening. Hell no. It's not happening. No. Uh, yeah, a lot of people do that shit, and it makes me question what are they smoking. That's why when even when they say rapper weed, I said y'all say that like rappers are known for smoking good weed. Y'all never see what these rappers truly be smoking. See. I do. They, they ain't smoking no good weed. Nah. Yeah, they, they do not smoke good weed. Ninety, they at the club. They Can have you to just that high to like uh, some good weed in there, like some 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 real shit. Three point five. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. That is everybody a lot. Say, everybody's saying that's standard, and it is. You know what I mean? It is standard. It is standing, and I, I know somebody that be smoking, and he did smoke. Uh, he rolled up short here in the backwood with me in the car, and him and his girl sat there and smoked the whole thing. 
Some motherfuckers do got tolerances, though, man. Shit. A lot of Maybe people, if I was with somebody, I could probably do it. Some people tolerance just high, bro. You know, because a lot of people, like I said last time, a lot of people dealing with a lot of pain that they never deal with. To be numb as ever. So after they smoke that a couple times, they just used to it. And I'm gonna be a hundred. Some people are not gonna like this. A lot of people are unproductive. They don't have nothing to do for the rest of the day. So they can <laughs> sit there and smoke and smoke. And they don't have nothing to do. They not building greenhouses. They they not out there doing that. They ain't turning soil. They ain't amending nothing. They ain't doing none of that. They have nothing to do for the rest of the day. Uh, figure out what they going to play when they get home on a video game. That's the last thing they got to do. Ain't no way you got to work or do nothing that requires focus and you smoking three fives all day. Yeah. That's a lot, man. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, not to us, man. Yeah, yeah, we up there now. Shout out to you, too. Super chat button does work. For sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. So what you uh, what you been having, what you had going on this week? Uh, this week has been more transplanting. More transplanting and getting a, a pheno hunt ready. Getting the pheno hunt ready, so uh, big boom. So you got the old... trellis up? Oh, yeah, and the no-till beds got the trellis up. Trellis master, man. They didn't think I was going to be able to do that. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it without breaking no branches. I assumed I'm going to break at least three or four of these big-ass branches I'm trying to do this. Didn't break one. Yeah, just bend them over. They're going to pop yeah. right through. But some of them was kind of woody and old because they've been yeah, cut old. down and then grown back and then cut down and then grown back. And so it's super woody in the middle because that's where I kept cutting it back to to get clones. Yeah. So all, But the new growth was all pliable and loose and easy. So that, okay. that helped a little bit. It's still going to be too big. It is what it is. Got to get it done. But the Got section that's going to be too big is where I'm putting the other GML like that. That's the only thing that's gonna be able to save me because they can grow into that, no issue. That light is that light is a lot. Light is a beast, but it covers a good space. So they, they and they could they could grow into the bar styles better than they can uh quantums. Oh, I would like to hear about that, man. What Rico, could you come in and talk to us? Talk talk about it. Oh shit. What up, GML? GML was good. Chef Life, Ism, Black Malcolm, Django, Joe, High Desert. See, uh, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Shout out to everybody. Is there any outdoor in California anymore? Like just pure outdoor? Yeah, somebody got something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know if people were still doing it. A lot of people can't afford the uh, greenhouse construction and shit like that. They just throw them in, some, throw them in the ground. You know what I mean? I would too. It's, yeah. still, out, it's still out here for sure. Yeah, they oh they still doing the, the big 10 pound plants. Matter of fact, I watch Mendo do. Why am I assuming they don't do outdoor anymore? Yeah, you know what I mean? That's all they <laughs> and they ain't like that and shit. Yeah, it's a it's a thousand more of them out there. You know, it's crazy because one day I saw Mendo's indoor garden and I'm like, what the fuck? Why are y'all growing outdoor? They got a mad nice indoor setup. I've never seen that in my life. Bro, go back to their page. They got a video of it up. Mendo got a nice ass indoor setup. I need to see that right. Now. That shit hella nice. <laughs> the Gavitas, everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Sure, Mendo. Because you got to remember, they're keeping moms and stuff throughout the year. So they have to have an indoor setup. And they and they showed it one time on their page, and it, it was nice. Well, this is, you know, I. Uh... What up, everybody? Rico said he can come on. He can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, Let me just drop the link for him. Yeah, drop the link. We just answered for him. Yeah, it's just for Rico. Come here. Yeah, and outdoor is probably just something that they um sticking to because they got a market for true organic sun-grown cannabis the way it should be yes you know what I'm and nothing's wrong with that that's kind of dope actually just because it's it's great it's good it's great weed bro see now i need to test it and see if it's if it's the organic that i prefer or if it's the sun grown that i prefer or if it's just that mixture of the two but yeah, it's something 
it, it might be the mixture of the two. I'm not sure, but I know anytime I do an outdoor run, I don't want to give nobody none of that shit. And you know what's funny? It it degrades or oxidizes or whatever faster. Way faster. Turns browner. That shit still be fire. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> that shit still fire. Yeah. That shit still fire. I smoked some gelati the other day that I had from last year. Little dumb brown nugs. They looking bad. Just been in the fucking drawer all this time. That shit hit. Pressure. Yeah, <laughs> pressure. Yeah. Hit. Like for that real, shit. man. We Straight don't... pressure. Yeah. That's it's the it's that sun, man. Let's give Rico a pain. Rico. What's good? What's, What's up? up, man? Congratulations on your uh, on your spot legalizing, man. Is it legalized or regulated? It's can be regulated. You know, it's can be regulated. Talk about it. That's a start. Well, I don't know too much about it. I just read a little bit up on it, but basically, it just it passed in the in in the House of Parliament, I believe. So they they basically took a vote on it. I think they won eighteen to six. So it's not legal. They haven't legalized it yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, like, like how they're gonna go about it. I know I read the draft last year, but um, um, it should be, it should be legal within the next couple months. I'm guessing within this year because the legal the legalization act was for 2022, so within the year it should be legal. Okay, um, so they, they, they said they're gonna have a, a bunch of licenses available. Um, to grow, harvest, and sell and export cannabis. So, and export? Yeah. What would it export to? I have no idea. It would have, have to be. It would have to, to be other places, probably Long Canada, um, maybe Jamaica. Um, Jamaica wouldn't need it. Um, other spots. I mean, they would need it, but if if someone's here and they're trying to make a business out of it, if they're yeah. the good one, you know what I mean. It would definitely be international markets that will, you know, just think about it how you guys are. Everybody wants Cali, you know, if they had a, if they had a, um, a way to actually distribute it worldwide and people can order the order, whatever they want directly from a dispensary and get it like same way Amazon does it, you know what I mean? But just for cannabis. And I think Amazon's getting, uh, I see them, they have a lot of interest in the cannabis market. And I believe it's for that reason, so that they can they can dominate that export and import and shipping it all across the world. Because you see yeah. where it's going. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. coming. So what, really, they just got to rely on the states to, to accept the importing. Yeah, I'm, that's, that's the, the, the input and the export was something that I was really confused about because I'm like, if they do that, then they would have to have, like, what airline is doing that? No one's doing that. So and it would which have to country be some is sort allowing of, it? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not sure how that how they can go about that. But, um... And Bermuda's under British? Yes. Hmm. So, yeah. Above my pay grade, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Yeah, I have no idea. I, it, it, I, but I want to say it can still be blocked based on Britain because they are, you know, they're the parent country. Mm -hmm. So I believe that they can actually still block it. That's uh, what I was wondering. Yeah, they can. They can probably, probably still block it. I'm not. I'm not too um, informed on a lot of that poli politics and all of that. You know how, like in America, like we have states, and then you got the federal government. Is it is it like that over there, or how does that work? No, we have parliament. So basically, it's kind of like that. Like we have um similar to Jamaica. Yeah, it's kind of like we run off a of British rule, but we also have our own set of rules down here as well that will be separate from others. But it's all ran out of parliament, ran under parliament. So that's the type of the type of government to be have. So we have one premier. The premier is kind of like what you would consider the president is like the in charge of the country, but he is um he's like the head for the British. He okay. represents the country, you know? So British would be the feds basically and the president. Yeah, they're, they're, in, the they're in charge. 
and then we'll have our premier and his in charge of all parliament. Gotcha. So he runs, yeah, so but he, he still has he still basically um has to check in with the British, like you know what I mean. What's the, pun the punishment uh like like we laws out there now? Like what what happened? Um it's decriminalized, so you can have up to seven <laughs> grams on you and not okay. really face too much punishment. But um jeez, I don't even know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um so you do what you do you know? Yeah, I do what I do. I don't even you know, <laughs> I don't even really think about those types of things. But ah, I feel yeah, you. you could you could go um you could get a fine. It depends what you get caught with. Like, you know what I mean? Um, if you get caught with something small, you might get a little slap on your wrist. You might have to do rehab or something like that. But if you, you get caught with something more more like pounds on pounds, then they might try to hit you with something like um, intent to supply. Yeah. So, you know? that's, that's what you got to watch out for. Right. The distribution. That's yeah. When you, when they, if they think you're trying to distribute it, then you have an issue. Yeah, my area was dumb. They they cleared cultivation, but will smack you for distribution. They don't give a fuck about the cultivation, though. Yeah, they'll that's just crazy. they'll chop they'll chop a few acres down, set it on fire, call it a day. They don't even look for who's it belonged to. They don't wait for the person. They just chop it down, burn it. Don't give a fuck. Get caught with it after it's processed. They gonna smoke you. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, <laughs> like if, what? <laughs> like if you're, in in America, if you're growing plants, right? And let's just say in a state where it's illegal, if you're growing plants, can they not bust you if the plants are not in flower? Oh, they count you, it the same. They don't give a shit. They count it's it the same. Manufacturing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know had, why. I don't I know why they someone, describe it like someone that. Who told me about a story where they didn't? I, I believe they didn't get charged for the uh, amount of plants that they had because the plants were still like um oh, stage yeah they're still it's small a, it's a health code violation uh right. so so the worst they could give you is like a misdemeanor and they'll they'll just word it into a different kind of charge but it's mainly a health code violation if they're not in flower because hemp laws is still what the hemp laws are so if they catch you with something that's not in flower still considered hemp up until then but they right. can give they can smack you with a hell of a fine though right yeah well that's cool something's coming to uh, ease your minds when y'all that's what i'm thinking doing something hopefully y'all get a cool little um cool yeah I'm, I'm i'm just waiting to see how the game actually set up the structure because i hear how you guys are talking about how cali they're basically raping the market so it ain't just cali yeah it's pretty much everyone they want that mom they want most of when it. i when i read the draft last year it was it was looking like that's where it was heading you know yeah hold up before we go any further shout out to red smoke good thank, look thank in appreciate that man yeah but at least changes changes on the way so if yeah it's, at least it's, it's like something, seven grams now than, hopefully it's like better. two ounces soon or something that they ain't saying nothing about and then from there it works its way up i'm I not just, hopeful i'm not hopeful for none of this shit I, I said that I I'm said that hoping. to someone too. I said, listen, until it's actually legal, because it's not legal yet. It passed, but it's not legal yet. Until it's actually legal, I'm not hearing what these politicians have to say. Oh, yeah, they all talk a good game. <clears throat> yeah, they talk a good game. We went through this last year, and on the last day, it was like, oh, all right, well, we'll revisit it in a year. And I'm just like, why does it take a whole year for you to to sort it out? Like, hey, I could do that tonight. Yeah, I guess you take a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. They're hey. trying to figure out uh, a way to not let you in. Yeah, they're trying to figure out. That's what little... takes so long. Like, how can we make put sure. this in a way that make sure. make sure that we don't let the common folk in? Like, we, that's right what we don't right want to do is let them in. Yep, write the loopholes for the people they fuck with so yep. they can in that way. That's all just bullshit, man. Yeah, you know, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, but hopefully they do something. Yeah, we'll see. I'll keep I'll keep you updated. Hell yeah. Hopefully they just say, you know what, fuck it. It's it's free, it's legal, grow as much as you want, 
no taxes. That's oh, they not gonna. That's what they. That's what they not gonna. Not a nail, not, not another. Not they ain't about to do. Not a nail, not another. That, oh my they, goodness. <laughs> That'd be like everybody's dream. Like yeah, it's fucking real now. Now I we can out there have some fun, but now it's over. Now y'all ain't seen tax money yet until y'all do that. As Tourism soon as you do that, you'll see some real tax. You wouldn't even have to worry about rebuilding inner cities. We do it for you. you <laughs> oh, we need we need a new store over here. Oh, oh we buy the water. Oh, we need a boat store over here. We're going to make like, the boats here, too. We <laughs> it's like we have um, California been supposedly legalized since 2016. But yet, it's no spots. It's, it is some, but it's, it's not as many spots that you can go to and just smoke. Like a retreat, go have fun, smoke outside, and hang because, out, eat some food. Right. It's like it's, you can't do none of that. Everything is just they, got, they had a few restaurants. We got to buy from here. We got to do this and do that. And it's like, oh my god, I should have stayed home. Like it's not. They didn't have a few restaurants out there where you could uh, where you could smoke. They probably like, got some, but I'm just saying, like it's it, not, it ain't enough. It's, it's, not, it's not designated. They could be in every city. That's what I'm saying. With the way they talk product. about it. Where they got some food. Like, even when you go buy your trees, there should definitely be a spot you can go out back and smoke and enjoy it. That Facts. doesn't make no sense. Gather together, like, network. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? You go like, to yeah. buy, like, when you go to buy clones and shit, you can't smoke what your mom, um, you can't taste what you're going to buy? No. Hell no. Oh, yeah. my goodness. They don't even uh, have the shit there. That, uh, they the ain't clone, even growing it. The they just got cuts of it. People is the people that's distribution and sales. It's it's no. so fucked up. Nothing works together. Just like I was do, getting some done for my uh for my Mustang, I had to get some paperwork from Connecticut. And I'm like, y'all can't call and get the title. Oh no, Connecticut DMV is way different than ours. And I'm like, but it's, <laughs> it's American DMV. <laughs> I'm like, this world, it, this America is dumb. And they're like, you're lucky it's not Hawaii. Hawaii don't talk to us at all. I'm like, y'all need help. Bro. It's nothing united about the states. Nothing united. <laughs> like, that's That don't make no sense. You got to send me out with an 800 number to call some people. And then I called a dude. He like, we don't give our titles for cars that are uh, older than 20 years. Even if it was 2022, 20, like 20, 2002, we don't got the title for it. I'm like, so I just go in there and tell them you don't got the title. He's like, yeah, or they can call me. I go tell her she look in this big thick ass book, some book. Oh. Yeah, I'm like y'all is backwards, man. This they ain't even got this in the computer yet. Like no. they Rolodex. Just Are we supposed to be so so great. Like, come on, Shit. yo, ain't nothing united about the states. It's the weirdest shit in the world. Like the state right next to you could be literally a twenty minute drive. And, and between the borders and I can have my weed here. But if I cross that line right there, I can't have my and I can go to jail. Jail. It don't make no sense. Yeah. Not regular jail. Like I can leave this <laughs> one. The line, boss. <laughs> and go to jail. Line. Jail. Yeah, like Colorado boy. is surrounded by states that will send you to jail, jail for weed. <sighs> like right. everything around Colorado, you going to jail, jail. But Colorado lit. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. doesn't make no sense. That's crazy, man. Well, good talking to you, Rico. Um, we'll holla, man. We will holla. All right, bros. All right. Thanks for coming in. You guys have a good one. All yeah. right, you too. Yo, Frosty, I wanted to show you something, too. I don't know if you've seen this yet. What is that? What is I that? don't know if you see. Hold on. And Piff 1000, bro, I do be smoking, man. You know, I do be smoking. I be smoking now. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't be worried about me and my lungs like that. Pimp yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. State agents are calling it the largest single day drug bust in Oklahoma state history. Last week, we told you about a massive operation cracking down on black market marijuana. Listen to this. It resulted in more than $500 million, that's a half a billion worth of weed being confiscated. News Force Kaitor K on the night beat, Kaitor. Kevin, state rep Dick Lowe describes the state of medical marijuana in Oklahoma. Hold up, hold up, hold up, pause it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. They just said this nigga name is Dick Lowe? That's crazy. Look. Did they did they say that? How you name your kid that? Dick Lowe? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, that's the name of the dude, the, the yeah, newscaster? The representative. Like, listen oh, nah, they ain't. Listen. Worth of weed being confiscated.
News for Kaitor K on the night beat. Kaitor. Kevin, state rep Dick Lowe described. <laughs> Dick Lowe. <laughs> I think they be making up names. I don't even think these be people with real names. These don't be real people. Ain't this no shit, way. Like, this shit be crazy, man. <laughs> Dig low. Well, here we go. Describes the state of medical marijuana in Oklahoma as the Wild West and says this historic drug bust is one step closer to taming the black market that is exploiting the state's growing industry. So this is a way that we could talk, you know, say thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Over $500 million in product was seized through this. Stop Oklahoma State Rep Dick Lowe applauding the largest single-day drug bust in state history. He's recognizing the recent work of the Oklahoma State Bureau of Narcotics with a House resolution. In late February, OBN led a massive illegal marijuana raid that included over 400 law enforcement officers in seven Oklahoma counties. Nine farms and three homes were searched. We seized over uh, almost 150,000 plants with an estimated street value of nearly $500 million. Before we go any further, I don't know. That sounds like the dude that uh, that was talking to me on the phone. Like, come on down. It's 2500 We got your back. We'll get <laughs> for you and we'll get you in there. He sounds just like the dude I talked to. Man. No, we're not going to skip past the fact that the guy over here talking about drugs is missing all of his fronts. He doing the goddamn drugs. What the hell? Why he ain't got no teeth assist? He ain't got his whole top row gone. He done meffed that shit away. And he's the one that is the... And he running shit, huh? And he runs shit. How you miss at all your teeth and you representing the damn state? That's crazy. A state full of meth and somehow you missing all your teeth assist. Yeah, That's we not. <laughs> Let's keep going. Spokesman Mark Woodard says so far, six people have been arrested in the black market operation that Stop the show. Hold up. All them greenhouses. All of them. Yo, $500 million worth of product. And they got six people, three homes, nine, uh, 10, 15 greenhouses, six people. Okay. Six people. okay. Got you. Got you. It spreads from California to North Carolina to beyond. We still have outstanding warrants for seven more individuals, and we will do our best to track them down. Some may have already left the country right by now. Uh, as many of these groups had ties back to Asia and specifically China. And the actual marijuana is just the start. We're going to be looking at seizing vehicles, bank accounts, cash, uh, possibly the, the property where the marijuana is being grown to try to defund these criminal organizations who are profiting while hiding within our marijuana program. They're proud the state legislature is acknowledging their mission. We're very appreciative for the, for the funding and the support that they're providing so that we can have a full-time unit focused on these criminals. OBN says more of these large-scale law enforcement operations are being planned as the agency actively investigates hundreds of suspected illegal marijuana operations all across the state. That's crazy. The plants wasn't even in flower for them to be estimating an amount. Like, y'all chopped down a bunch of plants and veg. And was like, yeah, there's going to be 500 million right here. There's going to be half a billion. Now, as many times as you guys have flown over this area, you guys just routine jets here and there, planes flying. Y'all thought tomatoes was in them greenhouses this whole time. Just This shit in the middle of nowhere, just mad greenhouses. Just Why did they on the Asians? You think that was Asian? Yeah, for sure. That's what they said. Oh, they, they said did. They left the country. When they say they left the country... Well, you know what I mean? They said they I'm left thinking the, Mexican. No, they said they left the country. Many got ties to Asia, specifically China. Oh, okay. I missed that part. Yeah, why are they picking on the Asians? Because they killing shit. They killing it. Bro, to, the to the point that they even threat. making the government mad. That's the biggest threat. Because <laughs> you taking our... Wait a second. You taking our drug money now. That's supposed to be for us. Like, y'all really funneling this shit back and doing something with it to empower your damn country. Like, hey, we Oakland, were supposed to use it. Go to Oakland, try to sell some. They're going to pull their phone out and say, the agent got this. Oh, yeah. Just for this. So it's like, they got the market. They got the whole market. You can't beat the prices and the quality. The quality and the prices, you'd be like, damn, they giving up that for that? <sighs> yep. So now them people out there, they like, we got to get them out of here. Out of here. We they have to. All the dimes. Especially when we got a legal market here. 
and we got people like them, ain't no legal market if they exist. Nope. We won't even have a legal market. Why would we even need one if they exist? They had hella greenhouses. They had hell. They had operations. And they only I got six. Them, man. And they only got six fucking people. No, oh, you ain't gonna catch them all. No. Yeah, but how do you only link back to six people? And that was a state raid, wasn't it? Yeah, they probably uh oh they probably got, you know, when you when you right there, you got people that's watching the road, like people hey, somebody else got a farm up the street or something. I think they're coming to get you, child. Leave. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get ghosts. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm headed out for lunch. <laughs> Everybody can go. I always thought about that. If I had like hella land like that and shit, I would definitely have hella secret tunnels, bro. Definite. I, I'll be right there, and you just be like, I'll be like, I hear them niggas. <laughs> I'll be right there, man. I will have so much secret compartments and shit. And you got to build it yourself because you can't afford for the person who did the work for you to ever tell law enforcement, like, yo, you know, there's a secret couple of. No, I know who to have you work. They ain't gonna say nothing ever. Migo, Migo ain't saying. Oh, nothing. of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Migo ain't saying nothing. Never. But See, yeah, I'm talking about other places. We ain't got no Migos. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. We ain't got no. I Migos. can't imagine a world like that. Now nah, we got imagine. Puerto Ricans that count. We got Guyanese. That's what we got. Like our version of of Migos is Guyanese here. That ain't that ain't the same. That ain't the same. They rebuilt this whole shit they, in like they four work years. Hard like that? They what? Work hard, do all the shit like that? You will not find one place out here that does not have them. You will go to the bank. There is nothing but them. Construction, nothing but them. Okay. Plumbing, okay. nothing but them. Uh, inspections, nothing but them. They run everything. Everything. You you go through the neighborhoods now. It's colorful as shit. Pink houses, lime green houses, purple houses. You know who lives over there. You, yeah. <laughs> you know it. Builders, man. They build their community up, man. Yes. Yeah, see, y'all yeah. got it so good there. Like, y'all assume, okay, I'm about to have a big-ass harvest. It's cool because I'm just going to have Amigos trim this up. If I have a big-ass harvest, I got to trim all this shit. Like, there is no one to call to come and do no trimming or nothing like that. Like, Cali got a culture. Yes. Cali got a culture that is so dope that it, like, they said you could just find trimmers on the street. Like, you, you're just driving around and people just out trim. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got signs of trimmers. Weed trimmers. Like, weed trimmers. Cards number. On posts. Like, on fucking so the signs and shit. That shit crazy, man. I love Imagine this. the people over here that got to dedicate the whole November to trimming. Croptober coming is great. It dries, then November comes, and coming. they disappear. They just disappear. Like you don't see no bot, no growers in November. They Man. they still busy trying to trim. That. I want to take you to trim a pea. I don't know because I take my time. Yeah, purposely. Like, yeah. See, it's different for y'all because y'all have to account for how much you're going to be paying people for it. I just take my time. Not. Mm. But it's still not like a time thing though. I'm talking about like with me when I when I would trim my own shit. I had to I had to find some people to do better than I can. Cause how I, how long would it take you? I would do four ounces at a time. Like, cause that's what I was, that's what type of way I was doing it. Like trim up this foe, get that, you know what I mean? Come back, do another foe. I like, do eight, just, I do eight at a time, and it usually takes me roughly. If I'm just going straight through, I got National Geographic's just just going on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Um, probably about three four hours. Yeah, yeah. Probably about three four hours to do eight. Because what I normally do is uh, each plant will usually get a hanger or something. Each hanger is roughly about two ounces, two and a half, yeah, three yeah. if three if I'm lucky. So I'll do I do four hangers at a time. I'm gonna tear though because I don't I keep looking at it. I'll trim and be like. You know what I mean? I be I be tripping. Like nah, it forever to trim, bro. Like, after I get about 20, 30 minutes in, it's just autopilot afterwards. Cause you're just thinking. Yeah, after a while, you there's just, just so much there. behind so it. Much. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking there's so much behind this. I just gotta go. There's no stopping. Because the, as soon as I stop, there's so much more to go. And then October is worse if you did an indoor too. 
because your indoor is usually coming down around the same exact time as your outdoor. And it's trash. <laughs> you said half pound, five minutes. He else I seen, I seen, you know, I seen, somebody gonna say some crazy. Amigo, timing. I seen Amigo do three in a day. Damn. And it looked good. I did one and a half in a day, and that's the most I've ever done. I think it did three. I was like, beast mode. That's beast crazy. mode. Crazy. He was about his paper. See, I had to go. I got a job tomorrow. Oh, oh, he got more work to do. He can't fuck around. And he that's still real, had him look good. He had a real job, so he was coming in there to get that get that extra bang for the buck and go back to work. I'm like, ooh, man, where a your week, partner a, at? A week's worth of pay in a day? Like, where your partner at, man? He's like, oh, yeah, at work. Like, hey, dude, show slow ass. <laughs> yeah, some people, some That's people was asking me the other day about the machines. Like, yo, you may as well just get a trim machine. I'm like, nah, I can't do that. Nope. I, got I, I just can't do it. I got a trim machine. It's right there, and I'll just be like, I tried it once, tried it twice, and, and every still had to trim afterwards, right? You, just, you still got to go through it again. You exactly. Go it you got to go through the whole pack, yeah. too. Yeah, and it's hella little sticks that be left. And it's just be like, I don't like how these look. No. These don't look good, man. No. Unless you don't care and they're about to be cheap. That's what I said. Tall like dudes be doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tall dudes be doing yeah. all that shit. Hella stick packs. I'd be like, yeah, yeah I can't. Mm -mm. Oh, no, this is that Zaza right here. It, Mm -mm. It's that bushweed star. <laughs> yeah, I, I I thought about it and I'm like, I can't reduce myself to that trim machine because every time I seen someone use it, I'm like, see, I would have trimmed this further. Yeah, like that that wouldn't be good enough for me. The way they come out on the other side of the trim machine is not good enough for me. I still have to go through almost all of these buds afterwards. Yep. Man, it's take off, take off hell. Too leafy, gonna drop your price. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm cool. I'd rather let the people touch it. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Bag. Yeah, I heard the trim bag was cool, but but you still got a trim after. Yeah, I just set it up for and, the people. And what I don't like about the trim bag is the level of dryness that the flower has that to, needs be to be in order for it to work. Yeah. Uh because to me, that's that's beyond too dry to not already be in a bag. Like before it hits that stage of dry, it should be in a bag already. Now, sometimes you'll get it to where the leaves are so perfect, yet the buds are still sticky and you could just run your hand down a branch and it'll just knock all the leaves off. That's that's why strains matter so much to me. And a lot of strains over this last six years just haven't made it. If you leafy as shit, you out of here. I do not like that. Because that is so much good. more work on me. No, it fun. looks good. Nope. After Cold even after everywhere, it's just, it's just don't nah. I, I've seen good trim machine can of brush. See, I don't think you guys are factoring in the size of the harvest that we're talking about. Like, <laughs> like this, this ain't a four by four, this ain't a four by eight. Like, they grab them this, sharp ass trimmers and get real busy, man. I like yeah. the new ones that they got. Uh, they put the new Fiskers out for y'all too. Fiskers, you still uh, use the, Fiskers? What do you use? Nothing. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> nah, oh, they, oh, they even bring their own scissors? Use Chikamasu. The Jap the uh yes, they do bring their own scissors and they use That's uh, fire. They use they use the, the B cutters, the yellow and black ones, and they use uh -huh. the uh, Chikamasu's the uh, the Japanese steel. That's yeah, now we got the orange and black ones. Those fiskers. Yeah, the orange and black ones. Yeah, yeah they, they just started start putting them out. Y'all had the orange and black ones this whole time? Yeah, that's old. Hey, we that's just getting those. 2015, 2016. Uh, well, lucky y'all. We just getting them, and they are sharp as shit, and they work good as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, those, those ones work hella good. And you know what? I don't mind trimming. That, to me, that's my vacation time right there. That's the time where I just zone out. And I spend a couple days catching up on everything that I need to catch up on. And then afterwards, I'm ready to get back to work. Yeah. The worst thing I do is forget to take care of the rooms during trim jail. Because I don't, don't want to do nothing but trim. Because I want to get this shit done. Like, I, <laughs> I don't want to drag this out more days than I need. Yeah. Mm -mm. Just knock that shit out. Yeah. Because you got to think. Trimming is, trimming is cool if you got a small batch, though. Like, like in my tent. Like I, I'll trim some of that, some of it meaning like top nug, just trim it just a little yeah. bit and she'd be like, mm, 
It's good. But then my girl, I have her do that shit because she just getting the she getting her zone and just brrr, I'll be like, damn. And she'll be tripping. got the little hurt. hands. You know, you know, females turn their little shit on they need to listen to and just get busy. I'm like, damn. leave them alone. But she couldn't handle the big shit. Like the big rooms, it'd take forever still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people be saying, be like, I get asked so many times, yo, how do you trim this? It's the same way you do it, just take longer. <laughs> yeah, same way you do. Yeah, I love I love Cali's culture when it comes to cannabis, though. Yeah, we just got to get these fucking politicians out the, out the way. Out, out of our business. like Just too late. We yeah. let them in. We let them in. Let them in. And, and they, have to, they, didn't, they didn't let us let it have been a lot more senseless as acts of um they shit. wasn't about to, they wasn't about they to stop shit. Jail. you know what i'm saying they, they wasn't about to stop shit. yeah but people in jail for this shit, that's whack so something has to be done you know what i mean it is and i don't like that they limit the amount of plants that you can grow and like this that's is one of the this is one of the only plants that you want to give us a limit on how much of it we could grow. Most, Most people don't have enough space to grow the amount y'all talking about anyway. Most people are in apartments. They don't even have backyards. They, but like, even if they got a little backyard, the amount that they're going to grow ain't about to damage nothing. Mm -hmm. It's not hurting nobody. No. Sure, let me do what I want to do in my garage. It's my the worst garage. you got to deal with is their shit getting stolen. And if they should get stolen, that's their shit. That's their shit. You can't call a popo when your plant got stolen. That's it. You should have better protected it. That's why we told you guys not to let them grow over the fence. One thing, if one thing happens, then it's bad on everything. Like yes. somebody jump over the fence. Somebody jump over the fence trying to steal some plants. I catch them. Bah! Pop their ass. Oh, now it's oh. Oh no, little yeah, cannabis! It's, it's bringing violence in the neighborhoods, and don't let them be. Um, don't let it not be an American citizen, because now it's a war on that race. It's like it's bad, but I see how they. I see how some of the fair skinned people look at the, um, the like the immigrants and shit like that. Mm -hmm. and they, they don't like them, but and that shit is like, it shouldn't be that much animosity and animosity for somebody trying to make a buck well like it is a way you do shit and the way they do stuff they do overdo it a lot of times they in a country they, that they lived in long before you got here that's true too but it's like you know how it is smashing smashing they like this smash. this used to be upper mexico like they this was smashes man they they, yeah. they got that uh you know man. it is smash, smash and grab yeah <laughs> smash and grab <laughs> yep but um yeah uh not too many people have ever really been this isn't the the drug that most people are killed over like most people robbed and killed people people get robbed people get uh people can get shot but this ain't nowhere near as bad no. as the other shit nah i don't get nobody say alcohol do more damage than any of this shit man Alcohol do more damage than anything. It's more people waking up in jail every single day and don't know what they in jail for all from alcohol. Brother, uh, not long ago, someone was just sentenced around my area because he was drunk driving, hit a limo full of people, 13 people inside of a stretch limo, was coming from the prom, killed every one of them. That sounds that sounds uh, familiar. That shit happens a lot. I think I think that killed, happened. Killed every single one of them. He lived though. He lived and was almost with no scratches. Like he he was perfectly fine. Killed everybody. Yeah, that happened in California, man. I think like four people got killed, and she was she had her she had something going on for her. You know what I mean? She was a good person or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just drunk, kill some motherfuckers. And they don't care. You can drink your life away. Like you can. And nobody says nobody looks at the stats and be like, "We got to do something about alcohol." No, we don't. That's going to be another prohibition. Can't have any more Al Capones. I can just see the back door talks. Like, can't they going to take my scotch? Just yeah, no. Nope. The fuckers can't uh, handle their liquor. You know what I'm saying? So that's never going to happen again. Like alcohol is going to be here forever. But damn, bro, like let. I, I don't see a limit at that store, but at the cannabis store, I'm limited to an ounce yeah. a day. But then I could go to the liquor store and I can buy as many bottles as my pockets Shopping allow me. Shopping, Shopping carts. Full. I see ladies coming out of the what so many boxes of goddamn wine. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I just get my wine by the caseload because I drink a box a day. Like, no issue. 
Box of that. Box of that. Box that's of that. Like, that's the normal. If you're buying a box of wine, you're drinking that whole thing that day. Every day. Seven dollars. What's about six, seven dollars a box? I think something like that. Loaded. And I heard wine drunk is very different than than like regular alcohol drunk. I heard wine drunk is worse. Because imagine how much of it you have to drink before you're drunk. And then by the time you get it hits you, it's over. It's too late. Like, loose, loose. Yeah, it's too late. My cousin yeah. was a firefighter 30 years. He never once responded to a car accident caused by cannabis, but alcohol almost every shift. Yeah. Like if we really, if we really wanted to, like if the people really wanted to, I don't, I don't care about it. But the people really wanted to do, they got a big, big argument to get alcohol banned again. Yes. Like it's like, like yes. the stats alone, no one can say no, but most people drink, so they'll never vote it out. Nope. Most people nope. drink. You got to think, even when it comes to like probation and certain paroles and situations, they almost lean in on alcohol because it's legal. They don't say nothing about that. Oh, you drink your ass up. Don't smoke no weed, though. Don't smoke no weed, though. Don't, don't, put, don't piss dirty. The, yo, the thing that's going to keep you inside of the house, stuck to the couch, playing that video game for the next eight hours, uh, we don't want you doing that. We want you outside on alcohol doing what probably got you on this in the first place. We yeah. need this cycle to continue. For sure. Yeah, I, I can't stand alcohol, honestly. That's the reason I'm always saying something about it. I can't stand the shit. <clears throat> they have and a- only reason I got the real big issue with it is because of how they treat cannabis versus alcohol. It, That's makes, the only me issue. Not, it makes me not like alcohol that much more. That's my main thing. And another thing is that's my main thing is when I, I care for people and they see what I went through with alcohol and see how much better I'm doing without it and they still fighting the struggle. And then they'll call me with their drunk problems and I'd be like, oh, I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. You can't call me with none of that. It's like, like, yeah, my girl is like, y'all need to stop drinking. All the fights come from y'all drinking. Everything wrong in your relationships comes from y'all drinking. Maybe y'all should stop. And then you stop drinking. You're looking at your relationship like, I don't want this bitch. I, I don't want this nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he, I don't, <laughs> Blame it on the goose. Yeah, <laughs> he interesting when we drinking together. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, bio, it's good. I mean, if I could drink responsibly, I would probably have a drink every now and then. But like most people, can't we don't drink. know our limits. Don't know the limits. That one shot taking too long. Let me get another one. Ooh, I'm feeling warm. God, oh, the beat on the music on. Now, now I'm ready to go. And then you just keep going. You don't feel it till it's too late. And that night be the best one, too. Then you just want to do it again. And then you like yep. back in some shit. Dang. Yep. <laughs> I know myself, man. It's not for everybody. No. Not for me. But, but you know what? Loganitas. Did I talk, talk about that? You said it, you mentioned it last time. I didn't know what you was talking about. That shit good, man. They got a weed beer. Oh, got weed and the hops in it. So it tastes like, it don't taste like, it tastes kind of like beer, but it just tastes hella good. I'm talking about like, that. I'm talking about hella good. And it's weed. Cool. I'll try that. 10 milligrams. It has zero, zero, zero on everything. Zero calories, zero everything except for potassium. 375, uh, milligrams of potassium. We gotta be a little careful with that, but fire. Yeah, I gotta try that out. Expensive, but fire. Well, I mean, when you want things that are different, yeah, it, it, it's gonna cost you. It's like Speaking eight, of people eight. wanting things that are different, if y'all want something that's different, what's up with your green table family? I hope all is well, and if not, I hope you get well and stay well. Make sure that you visit mirrorcrop.com. That is mirrorcrop.com for all of your souvenir needs. Make sure that you support the channel. Visit the Patreon. Visit Frosty McNasty Patreon. Visit Beast Coast Grower Patreon for all exclusive content and for first dibs on access to the souvenirs. So that is mirrorcrop.com. Make sure that you visit it. Like, subscribe. Comment, peace. Just in case the questions started coming through, where could you yeah. guys get? For sure. Yeah, that shit is pretty good, though. I kind of like the weed drinks, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, they got the seltzer waters. They had some blueberry mm-hmm. shit, some some lemon. It was a lemon one. Only weed drinks I ever had was, was made at home. 
Man, that shit was good, man. I like the weed drinks. I really do. You know, Rastas are the kings of making weed drinks. So those are really the only ones I ever had. What they got, what they put in them? Like, how does it taste? They Bubbly. just ferment. No, they're very disgusting. Uh, they ferment yeah. it with oh, other yeah. with other herbs and stuff. But sometimes they'll <laughs> sometimes they'll add other things to it to like make it try to taste a little bit better. But nah, when you're I using right shit. And it's funny though, because the people that's making the money off of those drinks are the beer companies. Pabst mm. Blue Ribbon makes the seltzer water, makes the seltzer drink. Pabst Blue Ribbon, Lagunitas is the beer company that makes the other one. So they getting some weed money too. Yep. They getting it. It's coming, man. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. And a lot of people that's listening to this and it's going to be out the loop because we ain't never been in a loop with a lot of capital. You know what I mean? Yes. That's what sucks. The loops that we're in. Well, I don't know how y'all there are. Y'all probably got rich friends or whatever people listening and stuff. But the loops I've been in. Nah. We ain't got that capital, man. And we don't have the foresight to like put it all even our version, even our version of capital is completely different than what they be talking about in those groups. Those groups, millions. Talking about millions. Yeah. We're setting aside three hundred thousand dollars for marketing for four hundred and sixty thousand dollars for this, uh two million for the debt production. You start talking them numbers like where that money coming from? What the uh can I just grow in my 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 garage and like can I just, you know what I mean? Can I just have a couple Figure out how to make it on my own? Like, you know, <laughs> like is, there, is there a way for me to do this without this? No. No. That's what's wrong with the rec market. They just, no. Yeah, and those facilities, like, I'll be tripping off. I'm tripping off going and buying an inline fan and a filter. I trip off shit like that. Like, nah, I don't wait. I wait. Yeah, I don't <laughs> really. This one's still out. It ain't clogged, clogged. Like, it ain't. Man, yeah. these people is buying though. First of all, the wall that they're using the four by eight sheets, them is what? like sixty dollars. That PVC wall, oh yes, that's like sixty dollars. So imagine doing that on your all your shit, foam installation, complete wiring hooked up, all electrician shit, drains in the floor. Um, I'm talking about like that shit gets expensive. The facilities that y'all see, you'll be like, that's a oh, nice wait, wait, wait. facility. That's nice and cute. No, that's 30,000. No, that as you're, was going, 30. as you're going through that process, remember that there are checks and balances that you have to pay for in between them. So before you make a drain that sends your runoff water back outdoor, some environmental guy has to come out and make sure that you're not poisoning the ground behind you that yeah. winds up in the water table back at the th and, and you gotta make sure gotta go somewhere to a holding tank yes then from that holding tank it goes into another reservoir to get recleaned and refurbished and re uh you know redone and that's dope i'm not saying this is bad but i'm just saying think about the cost that's a lot of that's you're spending a it's lot, a lot. Of money man yeah Every every room that you do, you the electrician has to clear it part by part by part. You're not building this all at once. You're doing one fifty hundred light room, then you got to do another fifty to a hundred light room, and then another one. Just the inspections alone, they tax just because they know what industry you're in. And oh, that's another thing you guys don't think about. Everything costs more when you're building something around cannabis. Yeah, that green tax. Like, yeah, what would normally cost you to build just rooms inside of a warehouse? Oh no, these prices are about to be a hundred times different. Oh, you I know what you guys are about to be getting out of this room now. Nah, for us to come and do the construction, we need this much. 10, 20,000. It's, it's crazy though, like how much you have to build around a plant that's natural on the planet. Yeah. Why do I have to build that much around it? Why is all this whew, it's a lot? Like what just to grow a plant? Because no, because the level of testing that I'm going to have to go through in order to get this to market is worse than the testing for our food that we have to put inside of our body. Like our food is allowed more bacteria and germs than, than this goddamn plant is. And we're eating the food. Yeah, we're eating. We're eating the food and it's and wine and all the other things that go inside of our body to eat and drink. Those don't have to go through the testing that cannabis has to go through. Rigorous, man. Rigorous rigorous testing and, and i'm talking about man like the the smallest amount of mold or mildew or anything you are done and isn't that's that why natural? in canada they made it so you can nuke them isn't that natural 
what molds and mildews and yeah yes yeah, powder mildew is natural right yes hmm. you ever grew cucumbers or squash or watermelons or anything uh, guaranteed you've seen powdery mildew every year on the leaves i haven't seen powder mildew on the buds I it's always on the leaves it's always on the leaves i haven't seen it got that bad to where it's all in your buds and shit so it's no just, me neither you, you would have to let it get really bad and have a stagnant room with no airflow like you it, it would have to be indoor for the powdery no it could get bad outdoor depending on what you're surrounded by if you're like a near a wooded area mm-hmm. then yeah it's, it's chances are it could get crazy yeah now now in a more jungle style area you might not have to worry about it as much because vpd the heat and the humidity are almost even in jungle style areas, woodland style areas. It gets cold and humid. Mm-hmm. And that's what helps the powdery mildew spread. So like Michigan and Michigan, you you have to watch out for shit like that. Yeah, how do we know it's harmful to consume? We don't. Well, it's a it's a mold. So we're just going to assume it is. Yeah, but how do we know? We thought uh, mush- we thought mushrooms were bad to consume. It's a fungus. Mon- no, mushrooms no. is a fungus. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff we don't know, man. PM is a nightmare if you if you don't get that shit under control. Yeah. PM can get crazy. GML said breathing it is definitely for sure bad. Breathing what powder mildew? Yeah. Probably. I can see that for like I can asthma, see that. Yeah. Like asthma or something. Lung, lung infections. infections. Yep. That's inhaling any mold spores, though. You're gonna be you're gonna be risking some shit. Black mold, any any mold. Man, there's some molds out there that grow inside of your house that will smoke you. Yeah, I went to a friend of mine. I went to help him out at his house. He just bought a uh, bought a house on some acreage. Got to do Beautiful. a big, big remodel though, like super huge remodel. And it's like between the bathroom and in a bedroom. He had it opened up. It's hella black mold right there. Mm. Like, damn what you about to do with that it was like uh, spray some shit seal it up i'm like you don't want to live around that you want to get rid of it i'm like bro i would i would tear all that out and redo it all of it i can't risk that i can't I risk I, living in that i can't some some that. people have coughs that they haven't got over and they think that there's something wrong with them yeah some people have an asthma issues in their house and they don't know what's wrong with them whole family suffering through it and the whole time it's just levels of mold inside of the house that's ridiculous they ain't paying no mind to it. That's why they pay you so much to remove asbestos and all of that other shit. They 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 pay you top tier money to to get rid of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Super, it's super dangerous. Shout out to everybody in here. Make sure that you hit that like and share it while you are in here. Shout out to y'all. So this is your topic. What are we talking about? This is your topic. You want, um, matter of fact, grab a. Um... You want to give him a second, real quick? Yeah. All right, I'm going to give y'all a second. Go get y'all something to drink. All of that other fun stuff will be right back. All right, Green Table family, let's talk lighting for a second. What you're looking at now is the Medic Grow Smart 8. Visit MedicGrow.com for you to be able to get the Smart 8. Use the Green Table at discount and receive 10% off. The Medic Grow Smart 8 is a 760-watt LED used for commercial growers, but it's also great for small-scale growers. It has the daisy chain options. It has everything that you can need, that 600. 60 nanometer red spectrum to be able to get those really decent blooms even though it is a full spectrum like those added 660 nanometers just put that extra oomph into the bulk stage when it comes to growing low energy puts off little to no heat you could put your hand right next to it and you could tell that the dissipation of the heat just goes so smoothly that you feel nothing when you put your hands close to it the expectancy is up to 50,000 hours with a three-year warranty on it it is plug and play as soon as you plug it in that thing is ready to go it is said to cover a 4x4 or a 5x5 but in my humble opinion it covers a 6x6 no issue so if you guys are looking for a light as of right now visit medicgrow.com use the green table at checkout and get you a light that not only folds 
Not only does this light fold, it also has an LED screen that shows you the wattage being used, shows you your DLI, and it also has a built-in timer right to it. So no more of worrying about your timers going out or anything. The timer is built directly into the light along with the dial to be able to get it anywhere from zero to 100% of, of efficiency. So you could turn the light up and down at will. That is the Medigrow Smart 8. Visit Medigrow.com. Use the green table at checkout. Yeah. Discord Discord is it also too. sponsored by Tiki Madman. So go to TikiMadman.com and get yourself some uh sign up for the tester in the newsletter, man. He handing out testers. And you know, it's like one of the most consistent breeders in the game right now, man. Uh yeah, TikiMadman.com sponsor of the show. Shout out to him. And, and and he will all the smoke and answers all questions unlike uh, unlike a lot of people. He'll, he'll come in and answer whatever you ask. Yeah, man. See, Junkie uh, put a post, uh, put a ghostwriting post up and talked about a lot of these new companies are started up off somebody's somebody else's gear, like completely. You know what I mean? Name but, one that isn't. Of course, nobody wants to say names, so they're just in the fucking chat guessing, and then some shit came out. Some people talked about Compound, Starfire Genetics. Um, I don't know. Frosty, just name name one breeder that did not start their gear off of somebody else's shit. Well, according it, to Seed Junkie, he it he, is physically he impossible. Himself. No, it's physically so, impossible. He's talking about the breeders that's not doing no breeding. Oh, somebody, he, they're paying somebody to do the breeding for them? Yeah, somebody just drop off some seeds here, here go your shit. You did know I tell them, did I tell them what the cross? Straight white label. Did I tell them what the cross? I don't know. I wasn't getting too specific with everything. Um, oh, well, if I acquired the strains and told them what the cross, and he just got the space and he does it for me and brings me back the seeds, that's business just called working smarter and not harder. Yeah, business is business, man. Business is business, yeah. Not it's everybody. Like, it's like the people that. with that that seems on the outside like they have it all. Got a always lot. Always complaining. Hate. Yep. You know what I mean? Always complaining. They got they got a lot of hate and shit. Like I don't like that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that shit. What's the purpose of this? What's the purpose? Oh, you said Starfire is tree stars. That makes sense. That makes sense. But whatever. That's them. That's good. Um, Holy, yes. Wait, what? Oh, Starfire Genetics. They came out with some shit. Apples and bananas. Hella crosses of apples and bananas. And I'm mm -hmm. like, at the same time, Compound was dropping their apples and bananas. And I'm like, ain't apples and bananas Compound's genetics? So it got me to thinking, but I couldn't think of what was going on because I'm not the type of person to go research companies and really care about what's going on. It's just, it is what it is. Is he the breeder for Compound? I don't know who the fuck these people are. Man. It's it's some oh, okay. people just popping up, and but I just was wondering, like, yo, and you know what, Junkie, the man, the man, everybody, you the man, you the man, want to say something about some genetics companies that's starting with they with his? I don't know, was it his gear or something? I don't know. I don't know. See, the only thing that bothers me about that is. You can't find a breeder that did not start off somebody else's gear. It is literally impossible because the original two strains that you crossed that created your first cross that you took into the future, both of those strains belong to somebody else. Both of them. You did not create neither one of them. And yeah. from that, you started your entire line. Now, just because you're the guy who my two strains came from, now I'm worse than you, but you started out with two strains from somebody else to start your line. Because it's physically impossible to do it any other way, unless you took two land race strains and did it. Strains and did it. And That's what I'm saying. So because it's your strains, you're special, <laughs> and we can't do it with your strains. But you did it with somebody else's strains. Jealousy crosses. So so wait a second. He don't use no cookie strains. Man, come on. See, Junkie didn't use any cookie strains to start off with. He doesn't use any cookie strains. He I was in the chat talking about Jungle Boys. Didn't Jungle Boys do that to you? Use your shit and made up a whole wedding cake off of it and shit. In it. And then come to wait, wait. He said he gave them that. He probably did. Oh, and he said something about people starting their companies off of testers. 
They said, that's not cool. No, I think uh, Square One was in the chat and said, starting off with testers and shit, that's not cool. You know what I mean? Like, taking somebody testers and then using that to breed with. But it's like... I got to throw them away when I'm done? Yeah. This <laughs> shit's just crazy, man. It's crazy. It's like people be asking... They be asking for beef. Like, what you want beef for? Yeah, I, I just don't... I don't know what they want anybody to do anymore that wants to become a breeder. Like, today, if I want to become a breeder, it's almost like shame on you for wanting to cross strains, especially if you're using mine. But it's like, wait a minute, nigga. Whose strains did you use to start the line that you got? Yeah, oh, that's beside see, the point. Uh, that's besides the point. That doesn't matter. I, I started before you did, and I used somebody else's. I didn't use mine. Wait a What? Yeah, so that, because I'm using I yours. A jealousy? I'm definitely using that. Duh, I bought it. Fine. It's mine. And I, I hunted it. What about it? Yeah. I, yo, I got some sub cool gear that was gifted to me as a tester. If I like it and decided to cross something with it, that's what I decided to do. Why'd you give them to me? I was supposed to just never do nothing with it. I found a fire pheno. Here go some pictures. And then I'm supposed to trash it after or something? What do you really expect from a tester? To run it and give you back pictures of it so you could post it. That's and, about and, it. And, and see what comes out of it. And That's if it's multiple it. of us, you can kind of get a range of what this strain is going to look like, what it produces like, growth patterns. You could get all of that from the testers. Now, what the testers choose to do with it afterwards, that's on them. When people get cuts from me, if they're breeders, I know somewhere down the line, this clone is going to wind up in one of their crosses. There's the, the, there's a peanut butter cookie cross out of here from Beast Coast <laughs> peanut butter cookie. Trust me. I know someone's done it by now. I don't give a shit. And Once I gave it to you, to... you could. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I Let me see the pictures of that. Oh, okay. Nothing. How funny. can I breed if I don't use somebody's gear? Oh, so my. you're basically just saying don't use yours. I could breathe with anybody else's gear. Just don't use yours. Or find just find some on the side of the road. Find but you're breathing that, the best shit. Find some of that wild growing weed and then use that. Yes, unless you're paying your, my bills or feeding my people. I don't care what nobody's trying to do. And I don't care who strains you use to start your line or make your crosses. I don't care. What did it come out like and do I want it? If you are a no-name breeder that just tomorrow decided to cross Sunset Sherbert and something else, ain't nobody going to buy that shit anyway. You're only worried about the people who got an actual name for themselves. Because there's other people crossing your shit somebody that you ain't saying nothing money. about. Man, it's somebody it. making some money off of Man, that's good, my good. cross. He making all, my, all that money off of my strain, man. I don't like that. Like, you should, y'all show name out there. That strain is relating back to you. You still getting the benefit from that. Because a lot of people are gonna see that and be like, well, what's that? Jealousy. Oh, jealousy C junkie made that? Yeah, I'm gonna buy that from C Junkie. Yeah. That's how I would look at it. Like, that's that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I did. Shit, I wouldn't <laughs> got <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> who who <laughs> created this? I'm gonna see crosses and I'm like, hey, yeah. I'm see junkie seeds. I'm gonna go grab it from him. Yeah, most definitely. Jeff Fuel Gelato, where did that come from? Oh, they made it. I'm going to get it from them. I don't, I don't care who, who who else made it, who created it. I'm right to them. Straight up. Now, somebody else got the S1 and I want the S1. I am not afraid to go and get that either. If your gear get S1, that is on you. Supposed to do what you like. You should have s one it first. You knew it was coming. If I'd you got a dope ass strain. And I'd be like, man, I would be fucked up to really just buy like if you sell regular seeds what if i just bought your regular seeds and open pollinated them and then put them back on the market as your strain f2 like what if i did that that's fucked up that's fucked up right but it's people out there that do that it's you mm-hmm. can do whatever you want to do people f2 them they f2 fresh breath they f2 because some of my shit and told me like i'll send you some if you want it i'm like do your thing pimp, yeah go, rock <laughs> on bro yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm, that's that's cool. Thanks. Like, Shout me out every now and then. Let them know where you got the strains. You don't even got to do that shit. Just go ahead and no. have fun, bro. Run, you, bro. I don't own this plant. If you like Mother the strain that much, if you like the strain that much for you to f to it to something else and do you'll your be back. Thing, you'll be back. You'll be back. Yeah, take it and do whatever you want to do. It. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, please, please. I got grape rock candy seeds from someone else who got them from the first drop from square one. Don't probably find some shit in there. I want the grape rock candy, man. I got a what grape rock candy. Got from BBC, right? Oh, yeah, you, I got that one. You're going to, uh, did you send that lemonade on one of them? Oh, shit. I oh. forgot. 
Yeah, I'm going out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite two words from from Beast Coast is, oh shit, oh, shit, oh shit, oh shit. I am tunnel. <laughs> One thing they gonna learn about me is I am tunnel vision, uh, and I don't, I don't be seeing nothing outside the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no man. No, I'm terrible with that, and they sitting right behind me too. That might be the worst part. Sitting Wait, right there. Let me see. Square one making a hundred thousand fees or fems. I don't know. Damn, yeah. I do trust him to make fems, but it is hard to buy fems after hunting through regs unless you really, really need them. Fems are for people who don't have the space to waste on males. Fems are for people who don't give a fuck about males. They don't want no males. And they're not hunting for nothing. Like most people that's going for uh, production, they don't want the males. Like, I ain't got time for that shit. Give me I'm not breathing. Fins. Give me all the films. I pop 10, 12, 13 films. I pick my ones or twos out of them, then go forward with that production. And I just really want the most vigorous one out of the pack to run. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I, it makes perfect sense to me that a lot of people would rather have fems than than regs. Now, me personally, I would rather have regs, but that's only because I'm pheno hunting for something different. I want something different. Now, if I didn't care, I would just take, I would take a S1 all day. I would take a FEM all day. It wouldn't make a difference to me. Yeah, yeah. And there's even variation in FEMs. I don't want to keep on saying that, like, there's not going to be no variation in, in S1. Because, definitely yes, because uh, there, there is definitely variation in F1s, too. I, I mean, S1s. Nine, so. I pop nine FEMs from uh, C Junkie Jealousy. Every single one was different. Mm-hmm. Every single one was different. And that was the back cross of the back cross, the jealousy time, jealousy back cross. That's supposed to be like, yeah, the most stable one. Dialed in and all of them was different. Nope. Nope. And it happens to me all the time. Uh, keeper, though. Big boom. Uh, I got three or four big booms. And if you look at them, they all kind of look alike height wise, but yeah. they're all different leaf structures. They all branched out slightly different. There's something a little bit different about each one of them. But if you're just looking at them, you'd be like, they all look the same. No, no, they don't. Yep. And they're probably not going to look the same when they finish either. Nope. Yeah, you'll be pulling traits from everywhere. Yeah, where, where I got this topic from was uh, there is there's going to be lessons that they try to give people that sound great on paper. They sound amazing. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, it sounds it sounds so good on paper. Like, this is what you're supposed to do. You need this and to follow the DLI and the VPD and the CDC. And, the, and all of that sounds absolutely amazing. Once you really get into your grow room and start working, you will start learning not to pay 90% of this any mind. They told me that pH is the most important thing and you can't let your pH swing just a little bit. I ain't checked pH in six years so they, they can stop the cap on that. Your PPM's got to match the thing and you got to, I, I haven't checked. PPMs in, in six years. You can stop the cap with that. I get it on paper. I, I, and then my CO2 levels have to match the PPMs of my nutrient and I get the EC higher right here and the pH got to be different to absorb this. None of that makes it. You know what I never liked, but I never said nothing about it because to each his own, like it's cool. That's a cool way to say it how you want to say it. I want my CO2 to match the PPMs of the water I'm feeding. That has no correlation. None. Absolutely zero correlation. Um, how much? How big is your pot? How often is it getting water? Uh, what, <laughs> all of this, is it hydroponic? Is it organic? All, all of this is going to make a difference because how am I going to match the PPMs and my nutrient solution to my CO2 if I'm in no-till and I'm not using no PPM solution? I'm just oh, giving water. Work. Not for you. It's not for you, buddy. It's for... Um, Rockwell it's for, only. It's for Rockwell only. Crop steering. That's what it's for. It's for Rockwell only when you're crop steering. Well, I'm so tired of hearing about crop steering. It don't make no sense. I'm just tired of hearing about it. I just really... I'm tired of hearing about... Bro... I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting burnt out from Instagram. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I wish I could just get on Instagram and see nothing about what the people like I really fuck with doing and what I'm doing, and that's it. Because the people I really fuck with, they ain't really into all this 
extra nonsense. You know what I mean? It, watch, watch this. Do we'll, do, we'll check right now. Uh, me and you won't answer this question until enough people answer this in the chat. Uh, first three weeks of flower, what should your temperatures be? Go ahead and drop your answer in the chat. During the first three weeks of flower, what should your temperatures be? Should they be any different than the rest of the round? But what do you guys run uh, your temperatures at for the first three weeks of flower? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I thought five forty seven. <laughs> Matter of fact, while we doing that, what does Princess Mine mean to me? We're all royals. None of them are like me, and they don't want to be. We all are and love to be unique. We're not carbon copies of the latest hottest celebrity. I mean, I love B, but she do be way better than me. And she would be no good at doing me. We embrace our natural crown and we are proud of our natural color. Why change the king's art? We are his princess and princesses. We are his art. I am 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 his art. We, we are, are his art. art. <laughs> That's a good one. I was just about to press that too. <laughs> Fuck your Fahrenheit, man. He over there speaking. Oh, yeah. Yo, I hate when they do that. Yeah, it's 30 degrees here. 30, nigga. It's cold as shit. No, oh, no, no, no. It's 11. <laughs> you like, what? Yeah. What? All right, so you asked that question for what? Uh, for one, because most people were right when they said whatever the hell my room is. Um, second, you should try to get it as yeah, second, you should try to get it as hot as humanly possible. The first three weeks of flower is the equivalent to the first three weeks of what would be August, which is the hottest month out of the year. And it should be hot as shit inside of that room for the first three weeks of flower. That sounds great on paper. That's exactly what it should be. But who the hell is gonna be battling to keep that? Who wants to work in a room that's 90 degrees? Because that's where it should be, roughly 85 to 90 degrees. Who working in that? I have failed to see a huge difference. If the plant is going to stretch, the plant is going to stretch. That's kind of in its genetic code. Unless it's cold. I, I flowered in a cold before. It still stretches. No, no, see, your version of cold isn't cold. Oh, that's different. That is different. I'm a California yeah. cold. And yeah, it's, it's like when you when you say cold, like we don't know what you 60. 60. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's spring that's for us. That's, 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 that's spring. Cool. What are you talking about? That's beautiful weather for yeah, us. That's yeah. That's, yeah, no, that we're talking about flowering when it's negative five on the other side of your wall. That's different. It should be yeah, hot. yeah. So, so during the first three weeks of flower, when your room is dropping so cold, you will see a noticeable difference in the amount of stretch that your plant gives off. So, GML, so GML's, GML's a grower, grower, like very technical grower. GML's in here. GML, let me ask you something. Outside of your parameters that you usually go by, is there a dramatic difference? And being a little off. Because as we do know, plants are so fucking adaptive. They're so adaptive, man. They don't come from a hot region. They come from a mountainous, cool, cold region. Cold as shit. Upper mountain cold region. Oh, it's funny because I was about to plant today before I got on the podcast, and I'm like, nah, it's too cold in the greenhouse. I'm I gotta um I gotta cover up a few more of these holes, like the little... and I never feel I never think about like it don't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. If it's cold, they're not gonna die. Mm -mm. They'll get that heat back tomorrow, and then in four or five days, they'll acclimate to it and they'll be just fine. And they'll be just fine. It's a weed. It's a weed. This is an invasive species. 
Pajimel said, it all depends on what your water-based pH is. That's different. I didn't expect to hear that. See, I don't. I didn't expect to hear. I that. don't know if that. Uh, I guess it would kind of matter. I guess that would uh, depend what kind of medium you're running. Because if you uptaking, I guess the the heat. The heat to have it drink more water. Things. So I, I could see some kind of. I could see a correlation in that. Uh, in so many cases, I think it doesn't matter very much because it's at a natural optimum levels after food goes in. Yeah, at most times. That's what I'm saying. Like when you go outside and you water your gar your garden with the water hose, you're not pH in that water. Never. Everything out there is green, beautiful, healthy. The ground naturally will buffer it to do exactly rain what it water, needs to do. Dirt water, laundry water. Motherfuckers is watering their gardens with the water that come out the line, the fucking wash. Your machine. septic tank is underneath that ground. Right. Like, like your your septic tank is underneath where those roots are growing into, infiltrating into the ground. Yeah, if you start with water that is five pH and adding food, yeah, that's that's that, that's great. You know the pH thing. We got we got to we got to have some kind of responsibility. We're not mm -hmm. telling everybody to go out there and just not pH your fucking no, because no. some pHs in y'all y'all places are totally different. Yeah, some people I, got I eight point oh. ten pH three. I'm like, what the fuck? Like that's that's wild, but uh, no. So my pH is 6.7 to 7. And I noticed that I haven't pH in a long time. And when I do, it just, it is what it is. I just, it's, I, it's there. It's rare for me to pH. And I only pH if I really just like, am, I'm intent on pH. -ing. Like if mm -hmm. I see an issue and I'd be like, I want to fix it through pH. Let me see if that works. Then I'll go pH. But other than that, it's just, it's, it is. PH is critical in DWC. My yeah, first, and I, don't, and I don't grow in DWC either, so that's that's different. My first, too. my first two rounds was DWC, and yeah, no PH, no potential. I was, hydrogen, look, no I was using I was using canna. When you use canna with the water that I got, the it's pH sits from five point five to six point two, and it goes anywhere in between five five and six two. That is still perfectly okay range for anything to uptake within that five five to six two. Why so high? What do you mean? Why why my pH so high? What you talking about? My pH is high, like 10, 12, highly alkaline water. That's crazy. Where the hell is that coming from? Well, my pH come out six seven to seven oh. Seven point oh, I mean. Um, my my pH come out like six, six five. Yeah, that's cool. Six five, yeah, like six six five, and then once you add the nutrients to it, it usually goes down to about five seven ish, and then after you let it sit for a minute, the most it'll go up to a six. So anywhere after doing that for every day for year after year after year, my water ain't changed, and then I switched over to Jacks that didn't change nothing. You just get tired of doing it. You know what it is. Like you get tired of uh, just constantly checking and it turns out the same every single time. And you got to do this every single, every couple of days. No. GML. I, eventually I know what it is. GML, someone asked, why is pH, what that question? Is, why would pH have something to do with temp though? I don't think it does. I think that uh, temperature will determine how much water the plant's going to drink. It's going to drink. And it's not even how much nutrients they're going to uptake. It's literally how much water are they going to drink? Because at, at a certain heat level, they just want the water. They'll drop the salts off. So you got to be careful with that. You let your pots dry out when the room is hot. It'll leave a lot of the salts behind, drink a bunch of the water. And now you got burnt plants. You don't know where it came from. Oh, the room got too hot. The room didn't get too hot. You were giving them too much nutrients versus water. They're going to want more water when it's hotter. And DWC, they tell you off rip that your plant only needs to go off of about 400 ppm's of nutrients. See, this my this my little this my uh my homie right here. My tap water is under 100 ppm and seven. So we can drink the fuck. You can drink the fuck out that water. Yeah, I drink it all the time. We kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna send you a pH chart, and I sw I swear by on Instagram. Yeah, I remember you was doing a pH I chart. I seen the chart. I'm not going to do it. I don't believe in. I don't, I'm not saying I don't believe in pH. No, I believe there is something to it for sure. I mean, it's scientifically proven that yes. certain nutrients will get uptake better at certain pHs. But for me, I am not the guy to follow when it comes to growing the best. I just do the most. 
That's just me. I just do a lot of shit. But I'm not sitting here trying to pH everything for different different. I got you, GML. Something like that. But it is something to pH for sure. You know what I mean? Don't don't skip it. If you're new to growing, pH your water, figure it out. See what see what differences happen at different levels. You know, do do your own due diligence because I've done it before. You know, I used to keep it always at six, six two, and then I just said fuck it, one run and nothing changed. And I was like, cool. Yeah, ain't gotta do I, that no more. Ain't gotta, that was my issue when I was doing all of that and checking everything and making sure my VPD stayed in check and making sure that the temperatures did this and and feeding at this time and making sure they getting nothing changed. Like literally, the quality didn't increase. I'm not testing anything, so it's not like I knew if my percentages on THC went up uh, or if I got a higher terpene percentage. None of that factored into my life. It and it came out just as fire. This is true, though, when you're having issues. And he said, when I had this issue, I found this chart really helped me. That will help if you're having issues in your grow room. You definitely want a pH. But when you like, like, see me, I mix my nutrients. I feed throughout the whole time pretty much the same shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't Start switch to finish. Nothing, just the same shit pretty much. And health is there. Everything's there. So I'm just like, hey. I'm if it cool. ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm cool. I ain't finna mess with that. When I, whenever I do go outside of my realm and try to mess with something, the leaves start getting funny. I see some yellow brown spots and little curls of shit. Some shit just happened. I'd be like, man, I don't know why the fuck I changed this. Shit. I don't know why I changed it. I should have yeah. kept doing exactly what I was doing, and I'd have been all right. Uh, I got it. Let me just see. It here. I'm gonna pull it up. Is that gonna be in? Oh, okay. Boom. Okay, we can see it. Yep. Marijuana's proper soil pH range from 6.3 to 6.8. Hydroponic pH range from 5.5 to 6.1. See so, what I'm saying? Anywhere between 5.7 and, and 6.0. I'm in cocoa. So anything in between there is still great for me. So in cocoa, you want to be 5.8. Preferably because you're going to get your calcium. What is this one right here? What is this? Uh, the orange one, manganese, I think. Manganese, or I see an M and an FE and a B. I think that's manganese, if I'm right. One of the my uh macronutrients, yeah, Gino said he liked to bounce from 5.7 to 5.9, so that's pretty cool. And cocoa. What's the orange one then, GML? FE is iron. What is the, what's the orange one? Molyb, molybdenum. Yeah, so I guess I'm only getting N, P, K, C, M. when I'm good with that. And B. What's that, Boron? Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm getting everything. That's all I'm getting because I'm because like mine seven. fluctuates between five, seven, and six. Oh, at that at that range, like if I start at five, six at the beginning of the week, and let's say this res lasts to the end of the week. By the end of the week, I'm gonna be around six. Oh, so they might not get it all in the first feeding, but eventually they're getting all that work. And then when they put the put the nutrients in there, the nutrients have some stability to it, so it probably drops it down some to six five. Now, if you're in pro mix or something else, this may be a little bit more critical because I don't think I don't think uh, acidic nutrient levels work the same with pro mix that it works with cocoa. Like cocoa is built for the uh, more acidic uh, pH levels. I know that once you start getting into the pro mix. Uh, well, you see the soil range, right? The soil range is completely different than the hydroponic range. Yeah, you can see that. See, I'm in I'm in King's Mix. So, so I'm in King's Mix, you would like follow the soil. soil. Yeah, I pretty you much feed like the soil. soil. So, so if you're in rock wool or cocoa, you on the left side. If you're in soil or soilless, uh, anything like that, you're on the right side, or you can kind of fuse in between the middle. But since it is kind of a soil you want to be 6.0 or higher in my opinion but look all the way up to 6.8 is where you start getting busy and before you do all that shit look at your plants look at your plants yes just look at your plants 
Your plants gonna tell you if they're not feeling good. Like my plants, there's some in there that's not feeling good right now, and that's because I turned to light up a little too much intensity real quick. And they ain't like and they in smaller pots, so it's already like I know what to do. Like, yeah. see, you know. you you know what's weird about this at this point? I don't know what causes the purple stems. I have no plants. clue. It, it's like since LEDs came and since a whole bunch of new factors started coming in, we just started getting purple stems all of a sudden. Like if it gets too cold, purple stems. Not enough magnesium, purple stems. pH too low, purple stems. Like light intensity, light intensity, purple much. stems. Yeah, it's, it's any kind much. of stress is gonna result in in purple stems. So it's kind of hard to judge. Like, where's the purple stem coming from? Yeah, and I had some deep purples on some gush mints, and it was like deep purple. And I, I think I hit you up like, "What the fuck, bro?" Like, I'm adding, I'm adding more everything to it. I'm doing the cow mag. I'm doing Don't the epsom salt. I'm lowering the light levels. Shit, just purple. And then I go to their site, and I'm looking at these pictures, and their stems are purple. Shit, just trait. They trait. I think I think it's in yeah, a trait of something we've been we've been using a lot with. of. Yes. Yes. I don't maybe. Uh, I think it's cookies. I want to say it's cookies because this started before gelato. Cookies, cookies came before gelato, right? It could be LEDs. Could I'm be thinking LEDs. it's more. I think it's more the LEDs because under my Gavitas, I never had purple stems ever. Like literally, orange stems. Never. Orange. Because I couldn't see. Clear. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but when you harvested, they were green. As soon as I went under LEDs, purple stems started popping up. I've never seen purple stems prior to using LEDs. But Cold you know water. what? You know what's funny is when I flip the plants in flower, everything's green. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything from the stretch point up turns green. And then after about week four or five. See it again. Yep. I, I, I don't plant. know what it is. Plant grow? It's cloning? All right. I think my plants ate more under the Gavitas. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, they were more mag, though, for sure. Definite. But I think the heat the heat from the Gavitas is what caused the plants to drink a little bit more. I'm not even going to say eat more food. I think it's what caused them to drink a little bit more. It's hard to control temps with Gavitas. LED do bring out color, period, though. Kong is it right. does. LED Something is else I notice is Terps. Terps went through the through the roof once I switched to LEDs. Now you go in the room and you just like, damn. I wish I could do a side by side room like four LEDs, four double ended, and just see the same strain, same plant count, and really see what does better. I think I, I might did. Yeah, I think I might. I do did. That. I did it. Um, what I'm gonna say is. The room that had the LEDs, the buds were super dense, super pretty, had more terps, yielded the same as the Gavita room with half the wattage. And more terps. And yeah. More prettier. When now, I first in, saw LEDs, in fairness, the prettiest weed. But then I'm like, damn, maybe the genetics did change. I mean, I did buy different genetics, so maybe I'm just getting better genetics now. It's like, I don't know. In fairness, I didn't smoke any of it, so I, I can't go past that. But, like, smell, look, everything, they yielded the same. Only difference was 1,000 watts, 480 watts. Yeah, yeah. The CMH were the best, though, Gino. I agree CMH with you. CMH is crushed. CMH were quick. They lasted for about a year, and it was over with, man. And the it's LED sick. technology just... But the CMH... I'm talking about quality, quality, and it's beautiful to look at because it was like that bluish hue to it. It wasn't hard mm -hmm. on your eyes. It was really good. I think Tiki was talking about he has an LED coming out that copied the, like really copied the CMH spectrum. The CMH spectrum, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what's up. Yeah, the CMHs were great lights though, but they didn't get a chance to to even live because LED technology stepped up the exact same year that the CMHs came out. Should Lux still got some of those double ended? Uh, I mean, a double bulb 630 CMH. <laughs> How can you make a credible comparison without smoking a product? 
God damn, yo, yo. yo, leave me alone, y'all, man. I always messing with me. <laughs> I don't know. Be hitting that. I know I'm too stubborn. I try. I'm telling you. Y'all think I be bullshitting. I be trying to smoke other stuff. And it's like something. Also, just if anybody missing. has um Skittles cut, like the real Skittles, which a lot of people don't. But if you do, can you let me know? Please. If it ain't ugly, it ain't Skittles. Yeah, I want the ugly Skittles cut. I want the ugly one. The real hard one. to grow. Yeah. Not the not the cute, pretty, fancy one. That's what is it? Where'd it come from? Yeah. Want the real skills. Everybody, uh, everybody says that to me, like, bro, how do you just be growing shit that you don't smoke? Because I'm not growing it for me. I ain't got nothing to do with this other than the fact that I'm the cultivator. Outside of that, you guys choose what, what I'm growing, and it may not be, and it may not be something I like. The only time I have stuff for me to smoke is when I do my uh, pheno hunts. Me too, because I'm usually hunting something that I want. <laughs> that's it. That's the only time I got something to smoke. And luckily, something in the pheno hunt makes it. That's why I think it's the LEDs making that stems purple. Yeah, it, it, you might be right, though. I, I really do think so, man. Fucking LEDs. LEDs are different. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at Oscars. Ah, that's crazy. Google that. Look that up on YouTube. See if we can see some of that. Hold up. Slap oh. Chris Rock. Was it a game? A damn. <laughs> yeah. B, stop the cap. What do you cap about? I stick with Mammoth Lighting, Tim Bar with UVA, UVB. I'm going to get into that UVA shit one day and the far red shits one day. But right oh, shit. now, I what just, I do? Yeah, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, no. Uh oh, I think I. Uh oh, I think I found it. Let me see. Let's see this. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, stop the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop the show. He had said something about Jada. Oh, yeah. That'd do it. Can't wait to see it. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. What did he just say? I love you. G.I. Jane 2. Can't wait to see it. All right. G.I. Jane 2. Oh, because her haircut. <laughs> he did too. He a comedian. Wow. Is that real? Yeah, he looks shocked. He got smacked. Nah, he got the shit smacked out of him. He was like, oh, that. I think he's sick of people disrespecting his wife. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, let that be the last time one of y'all talk about my wife like that, even though she belonged to the street. Damn. Oh. Damn. Stop the show. Damn. That's <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. Don't be oh, making no, no. Oh, wait. Right. No, it got better. No, it got better. Hold up. No, oh, yeah. it got better. Yeah. Because afterwards he looked at him like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I did that. I did that. Hold up. Yeah, it got better. Because he's still standing there like he don't know what happened. He's shocked. He got the shit slapped out of him. He got the shit slapped out of him. He ready to cry. He going to cry in the car. Yeah, he going to cry. He about to cry now. Yes. Oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out. To he give just an got slapped. Nah, it, I'd have fucked the whole show up. You just I, got slapped. Nah, it'd have been on, on stage. Like, it, that like, would have been the greatest night around, ever. You're supposed to jump on the back and do something. <laughs> yeah, something, or something. something. And I'm short and he tall. Yeah, I'd have jumped right up on. <laughs> nah, he can't fuck with Will. Will whooped that boy, man. Will, That's Will. why you got to wait till you turn around and trip him first. Yeah, That's he was <laughs> Give him that good doop. Damn. He's like, what you expect, bro? You said something about my wife. Yo, that's why your wife... Never mind. That was crazy. Well, I ain't going to say nothing about his wife. 
I ain't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's that's crazy. Yo, he personally walked up on that stage and over a G.I. Jane joke, though. Like G.I. Jane joke because her hair cut off. I mean, duh. I mean, that look about a joke, right? I'm a comedian. Hey, your, your wife front- making you look bad in public, bro. Nah, I didn't want to bring it. I feel him. That's still his wife. Whatever. That, I, I think that's what he said. Still his yeah, wife. Yeah, I think that's what he said. That's still that's still my wife. Slap the shit out of him. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn. oh, that 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 was an epic night right there. Oh, that um, was good right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same wife that che- she didn't cheat. GML, it was an entanglement. Yeah, she didn't cheat. It was an entanglement. Uh, that was some shit. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah that, threw, that threw me off right there. That was crazy. Yeah, well, I, what was he talking about? PH? Oh, so she got a hair loss issue, not shaved. She bald. Oh, well, that'd be something if they in the house, really, and she going through some shit. I can understand that. He clowned Jada last year saying she wasn't invited to it. Okay, so he's been talking shit. Yeah, I guess that was that. that he done had about enough of that. But he might have said something. The to slap there, that was bullshit. Bro. No, that was a statement right there to everybody else out there. That's the, I, I, I let y'all get away with talking about my wife for long enough now, and I didn't say nothing. I didn't do nothing, but now at the Oscars, you're going to try to pull this? And what if it is a hair loss issue and it's not her just cutting her hair off? So now you don't even know what you're talking about and you're being disrespectful. Yeah. But she's stuck. No. That, was, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say so much, but I don't want to say nothing. I don't know. <laughs> One of the funniest things in life to me is watching somebody get slapped. Cause that's like ultimate. That's the most emasculating thing that could happen to you next to getting spit on. Like getting slapped and getting spit on is like ultimate violation. But I respect Crystal for continuing the show. Closure, and he could sue the shit out of. Oh, Wilson. if he wanted to, he could go ham. It's right there. He did that to me. I'm a comedian. I made a joke. He came and assaulted me. The joke might have even came from the script writers. I'd have, I'd have started capping. Yeah, the joke came from the script writers. It was on the card. Like, How much is that slap worth, though? Oh, that slap could be worth millions right there if he really wanted to be Ooh. petty. If he wanted to be petty, that slap, because you degraded my image on TV in front of everybody, You he could go ham. You could lose a lot of jobs over that, because now yeah, you're unstable. Slap, we don't know. what. He took the shit out that slap. Nah, we got to run that back. Hold on. <laughs> no, we got to run that back. Because nah, even Jada's face when he said it was kind of like, oh, really? You going you gonna to do me like that? Maybe it is a hair loss thing and it's not just her nah, cutting she, all she of her hair really, off. She really didn't laugh at that. She nah, she didn't take that. But I think if she cut her hair, she'd have laughed at it because that because she did it on purpose. I, I don't think she cut it on purpose. Yeah, that, that would be it. We got to run that back. Hold on. G.I. Jane 2 can't wait to see it. All right. Well, he laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing to stop from crying. That was, a, that was a nice one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Nah, they got some underlying issues. See, I would say that it was uh, fake until you see his face right there. He got slapped. No, he got no, and then look at him. He's yes, yeah, yes. But how you laugh at it? Then go up there and do that. Oh, I can go. Okay. Oh, he was going in. They had to take the camera off of him because he was going in. Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Chris Rock, a true comedian. So we are here. To uh, give a documentary out, to give an I don't see. I'm not good enough to continue the show after that. Like I, I don't got that in me to just continue the show and just be a good, good co-host. And now I'm saying, don't fuck up my opportunities. My whole career in Hollywood would have went downhill right there. That was 
that I'd was, have popped it off. I ain't gonna I'm lie to you. Like I made this nights in show business right there. Though. That was crazy. That, look at his ass. <laughs> and he knew he felt it later. Like the sting. Just, Yo, and he ain't got no beard I, or nothing. So that was straight skin right there. That <laughs> hey, the microphone right there just picking up. Boom. Yeah, that uh, poof. <laughs> He just walked up. <laughs> How you gonna do me like that? Yeah, yeah that was like when Nipsey that. slapped the guard. He Yo, slapped Nipsey the slapped out the that. shit out that guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, say something about my mans crazy, again. Man. That, shit oh, was that, sweet, man. that was a great way. <laughs> hey, where was we at? Shit. I think we was on pH. I, I, he slapped the pH back into him. Like that was a 6.8 pH in soil right there. That shit Man. had everything you need. Fuck that boy night up, but he about to go. But you all right? Everybody about to start checking on him and shit. Like, yeah. Man, Will Smith still ready to fight. I guarantee he's still ready to fight right now. I think there was some underlying issues. I don't care with nobody. How you say that and then laugh and then go up there? That's crazy. I think he was laughing, laughing until joke. he looked over and saw his wife's face. Yeah. Like at first, I think he took it as a joke, like, ah, hi, yeah, good one. And then he looked over and was like, oh, baby, you all right? And she, I don't think that was very funny. And he, oh, I got you. I got you. Captain Sabo. Dun, da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go up here and defend you. Just going to be with August again next year. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No more entanglements. No, like, I'm no. slapping people for you. It better not be no more entanglements out here. This is what's going to happen to the next entanglement. That's and we don't know And we don't know if he made a joke about that when that was happening, too. So this might have been, like, some buildup right here. Like, because what if he made a joke about that from the start? Bro, it's Chris Rock. And he a comedian. If your news is everywhere all the time, you got to expect that. You got to be more. It probably was fake, though. Really? I don't know. TV, TV. Yo, Will's walk off was like a dude who just walked up and slapped the shit out somebody. Like that was the walk off of yeah, I just did that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but he's an actor. Yeah, his, yeah, yeah. What oh, he he's is. a damn good actor. That's what makes it tough. He's a damn good actor. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith can act his ass off. Let's not. Let's not just. No, that was, was a, a nah. Dude. That was a that was a real hit. It looks real. And Chris nah. Rock, Chris Rock face made it real. Y'all not understand it. No, you heard him they say, "Oh, when act. he got hit, they both could act." But when they when he walked, he was like, Phew. "Look, he's smiling at him." No, look, he was ready to pop right there. Look at his hand right here. He he ready to swing back. Now you saying he was in his fighting stance for a minute. He had to think about it, like, like what I got to lose right here. Like he he was ready to fight. That was fake. Oh wow, that was fake. That was fake. <laughs> nah, cause he held his face out. That's Why he hold his face out like that? Anybody hit a man, slap a man, and immediately turn around. <laughs> oh wow, wow. How you don't expect him to bust you upside your head like that after you just smacked the shit out of him? Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? You slap somebody and just turn around. Oh, no, he it. stood there and waited for a second to see what he would do. <laughs> oh, wow. See? That's shit about to be. <laughs> he, he, double, he double checked what he was like. <laughs> oh, that's a meme, Mike. I, no, you know what? I'm about to he turn is. that into a meme before somebody else get a hold of it. He's about to be uh, you know, you got to be thinking a few steps ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a meme before somebody else get a hold of it. There's going to be plenty of them. God. But yeah, ain't nobody about to just slap you and turn around and walk away, though. Now, I don't know if that slap was fake, y'all. I don't know. It was the shock on his face after he got hit that make it seem real. I just, it's just see Will Smith standing up and doing that at the Oscars to Chris Rock, a comedian. Yo, yo wasn't we supposed to be boycotting the Oscars or something? Sitting together like that, but I don't know, man. Don't... Wait, was this? Wasn't we supposed to be boycotting the Oscars or something? I mean, that's what. Most or was that the Grammys? Was that the Grammys or the Oscars? They always talk about it and don't ever do nothing. 
So. Yeah, which one was it supposed to be? I'm pretty sure it was the Grammys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Be this. See, he thought it was funny. She didn't. Yeah, he laughing. She ain't. You see her. Oh, she and, and the person. Her eye. And, that's and she was like, eye. oh, that's kind of. Yeah. That's baby, get him. That's 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 baby, get him. She That's the head nod. Right? Look at the girl behind her, though. She like, oh. I don't get it. Oh. Uh oh. No, he got slapped. Yeah, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. Uh, he got slapped. He got slapped. He didn't expect that slap. Nah, he was ready to that fight. Look right I'm telling. That look right there when he just this one. Yeah, he's in a he's in a state of disbelief right now. He can't understand. Like, damn, I should have did something. Yeah, I, but I don't. Damn. He was about to look. Look at his stance right here. That's yeah. the I'm I'm cocking back to get you to to get a, a ming mong. That's the and then he thought about it. Yeah, the I black man to me says I don't ever want to see that shit in this type of event. No, with them two people like that's no. hella boosy. That's, that's the hella. homies right there. Like yes, that's, that's hella supposed boosie. to be black excellence right there. Yeah, we out here slapping saying? each other like we, millionaires like that. Y'all still can't act right. That's just. That, that put a bad stain on shit, man. I don't like See, that. See, I ain't gonna lie. The part that's making me mad is you ain't have this energy when she embarrassed you, though. Like, yeah. Where was this energy when she embarrassed you? Like, she been embarrassing you. She got a like new She Tupac started this. Every time Tupac birthday come around, she got a new picture, a new poem, or some shit popping up. Like, damn, bitch, you still thug life. Yeah. <laughs> The fuck? Nah, yeah, you out here having entanglement. I, I wish my wife would keep bringing up another nigga shit every time it's his birthday. Nah, it's on. Nah, it's on. Probably ain't never had sex on Tupac's birthday. I couldn't. On his birthday. I couldn't. Now, I'm going to have to show out. I'm going to have to show out. Like, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to show out. You can't be knocking no ankles loose on that. It's not. Do got a new special? They going on tour. Him and uh, him and uh, Kevin Hart. Oh, good promotion right there. Yeah, I think he got to say something about it. I got this. This gonna be this gonna be some uh some talks this week about that. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's going up on my other YouTube channel in about forty five seconds. <laughs> Because everybody about to be Googling now. You can get right on over to the page. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. I don't know if that was fake. I don't know. That walk-off Will Smith had was the, yeah, I did that. I've done that walk-off a few times. <laughs> That's slept. <laughs> oh, he just won an award incident? He about to talk about it? Man, I got to go watch this shit. This shit funny, but Is that shit live streaming somewhere? Cause that shit, we need to just watch. Yeah, we that. need to <laughs> turn this that in. Shit crazy. Yeah. What did he just win an award for though? That's what. Man, we'll Yo, never have no energy like that for nobody. Gonna hit the little man. Oh man. Like, hell That's, small it, it's not even like him to do nothing like that, but I damn sure wouldn't have did it over her though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Is it? And there might have been some reasons I did it, but it wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have did that shit at all at that at that venue. At that venue, you worth quarter billion dollars. Mm, yeah, that, like yeah. I get my hands dirty. Nah, it, will this? I don't know. This might have been personal. Will this might have been Philly. personal. It probably is. This was but personal. I, it probably is. He giving this. I'm telling you, this is this was built up. This didn't just come out of nowhere. Because I think had somebody else made that joke, he'd have let it rock. Yeah, because he don't know what the other person gonna gonna do. He probably know he he ain't about that. And he probably been talking crazy for some years now. And it's like, you know what? And you got a show coming up. I'm about to help the both of us. People know, <laughs> people know who to slap, who not to slap. Fuck yeah. You think he'd have walked up to somebody like 50 and did that? Hell no. 
wouldn't have walked on. 50 could have said whatever he wanted to about that <laughs> lady. He wouldn't have walked up on that stage and did shit. Okay, yeah, we about to be out. I got I got to go do some stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's oh, crazy. Man. I got motherfucking shot. Yeah. Right, this is what I'm going to do for a giveaway. I don't care how y'all like it or don't like it. It's not going to be fair. I'm about to scroll down this list of comments, and whoever I stop on wins something that ain't released yet. That's meant oh, shit. for a release for uh, I got 420 drop coming. Regular seeds, sorry, fem guys, not fem guys like that, but the guys who like fem, you know what I'm saying? But uh, regular seeds, <laughs> regular seed drop, uh, regular seed drop, it's gonna be my pick, but it's gonna be a new pack. So, so we got oh, somebody about to get lucky, somebody about to get whoever that is. Oh, shit. who is it? Gino, Gino, Gino. shout out to Gino. Gino, I got you. Hasn't Gino won more than once, too? Nah. What? You know, he don't be in here. It's the first time Gino been rocking with us for a while, man. Right. He usually be uh, in and out. But Gino, okay. yeah, you got a free pack, man. Shout Give out to you. Give me up tomorrow, guys. I got you uh, coming up. Yeah, shout out to you. And you said you don't want regular, so I might have to give you one of the fin packs I got. Just talk oh, to me, man. You got my number. What's up, man? Yo, Frosty. Uh, you want to know how fancy you want to know how fancy the footwork is? What that that whole video on my page already? But you can't send a beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! Y'all see? Frosty y'all see this nigga? How Frosty gonna drop the all? Oh. <laughs> how Frosty gonna hit me with that? Yeah. It's like, yo, you already know that thing already on my page. Frosty, you I left the wall. You can't send the beat, though. <laughs> For real. Yeah, that's Shout it, man. Gino. Let's go ahead and uh enjoy the rest of this Sunday. You know what I'm saying? It's let's go watch Sunday. that slap again. Let's go, let's go watch that slap again. Let's watch that right now again. That's okay, yeah, fun, yeah. We got no. Hold up. I don't even got TV, so I can't watch nothing. So I'm watching, uh, no, no cable. Gotcha. Hold yeah, Gino 314 won that, and that wasn't no pick shit. I just scroll, 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 boom. You see, you see where this is. <laughs> <laughs> Hit. He got hit. He tried to get away from it. He's, He's really in shock right now. He's shot. That's what I'm saying. That's all I can tell is real because that you can't fake that. You can't and fake, you can't this fake that face. That's that face, like nigga. I'm no, that's you. nigga. Don't ever get it twisted. Yes. Don't think Look of at the girl behind him. He's like, damn. Like, oh oh shit. Okay. You go. I'll you stand up for your wife. No, I give us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. Okay. 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 So we're here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they... He can bobby. He don't even... Uh, we yeah, he don't even know where he at no more. We're here to get an ice pack, please. Uh, we to... <laughs> I don't know if I need an ice pack, if I need to see the nurse, if I... Hey. If if I run in the crowd and, and defend myself, hey, why slap Chris Rock like that, man? That was cool. He thinking of the money though. He like, man, I lose a lot more money by starting some shit in here right now. Chris Rock ain't gonna do that. Chris Rock, he ain't gonna do that. He hosts too much shit. Nah, he gonna keep his composure. He gonna be like, I was victimized and assaulted, but it's cool. But that's crazy, man. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> sense it sends his value up more. But thank you everybody for joining. Are oh, you ready to go? <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> He's like, whoa, it is news on the line. Damn. That's crazy, y'all. It's been a great episode. We ended it off with a whoosh. 
Damn, that's crazy, but but um. Yeah, yeah, well, man. welcome, welcome to the new world we live in. They just smacking each other on the Oscars. Oh, no. Oscars, they don't even care. He explained. Oh, what he said? He oh, he explained why he touched them too. What you mean touched them? What y'all talking about? Where well, y'all was watching it at uh, live? Who's watching it? They said it's on ABC. Watch his speech. Oh, see if see if they got Wilson Will Smith speech up yet. I got you. I'm going to steal that, too. Uh, nope. No. No. Nope. Somebody's probably live streaming it. All right. All right, y'all. It's been a great episode this time, man. Uh, Gino hit me up for the seeds tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I ain't got nothing else to say, man. That was crazy. That was epic. That was epic. That was epic right there. That was epic. That's, that was a nice way to end the show right there. Man. We over here talk about pH and somebody got the pH slapped right back into him. Speech just happened. What do oh, you say? So yes. speech, Hulk? What, what'd he say? Chris going to pay bread to have it erased on all platforms. It's too late. I got it already. Yeah, it's too late. I downloaded it. I got it in my. I still get him uh, trending. Shit, you gonna be trending? Yeah, man. You leave Think something like that. Number one trending tomorrow. Yeah, I bet that. that's number one in trending tomorrow. Yeah, I'd have knocked him the fuck out. Yeah, that, that's just me. I ain't got the same composure as everybody else. Man, he should have made a joke. He should have been like, "Whoa." Tried to get me in an entanglement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Like, you could have played that off. Stage, man. He said, yeah, don't disrespect disrespect my wife. I guess he tired of people coming at his th- wife. Your wife for the street. <laughs> Damn. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is over her. kids at the corner store finna test Chris now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shut your ass up. You got slapped. Chris got to do something. Chris ain't about to do nothing, bro. Hell no. Keep getting that bread. Dang. All right, yeah. man. Yeah, nice way to end that. Yeah, this shit's so interesting now. <laughs> crazy. That was crazy. I guess a nice way to end it. So, uh, anything to tell him, Frosty? Yeah, man. It's your boy, Frosty. Hope all is well. And if not, I hope you get well and stay well. And from the looks of it, I can see we down to 106, about 40 of y'all on the internet. Trying to yeah, they're they trying to find it. So I'm about to do the same thing. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. Peace. What's up with your Green Table family? I hope all is well. And if not, I hope you get well and stay well. Make sure that you visit Miracrop.com. That is Miracrop.com for all of your souvenir needs. Make sure that you support the channel. Visit the Patreon. Visit Frosty McNasty Patreon. Visit Beast Coast Grower Patreon for all exclusive content. And for first dibs on access to the souvenirs. So that is Miracrop.com. Make sure that you visit it. Like, subscribe, 